Hello, hello. It's time for some chill truck. It has been a hot minute. What's up, Stabs? Hey there, SDK. Let me know if my jazz is too loud. Happy Saturday. You know, everyone's playing, uh, everyone's playing Pokemon today, so I figured I'd offer, <laughs> I'd offer an alternative, you know? And as far as I can remember, I don't think that I've done the Texas DLC just yet. Not that I can remember. Hey, guys. Yeah, so last time I played, I played uh, on my Steam Deck for like two seconds the other day. And I bought a truck, and I'm up in Seattle. So I think it'd be fun to try and find a route that gets me all the way back down to Texas. Plesson, thank you for the 18 months. Heyo, Ian. Wondering if we'll have some chill big mother truckers today. Uh, not not today. Just just uh, American truck today. But that was a pretty fun game. Uh, Sploopius Maximus. Thanks for the two months. And Soft Crisps, thank you for the 41 months. How are you guys doing? Getting all my windows set up here. Chill truck while you fry chicken. Yeah, what's everyone going to do while I'm trucking? DJ Siren, thank you for the 30 months. Bringing back the, uh, the background streams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is the truck I bought. I didn't really want it to be purple. I didn't think through uh, my decision there. I, I could have changed it, but I didn't. Uh, I did not change it. But I did get a Volvo because they're my they my favorite brand in here. What up, Lupin? How's it going, guys? Oh wow! Smugzilla, thank you so much for the eleven month Zilla. Oh, I'm supposed to get a job. Whoops. It's been a little while, okay? It has. It's been a while since we chilled and trucked. Um, it'd be fun to do some more. I need to bring back my... Uh, my series of stuff that I would play when I didn't know what else to do. What's up, Boogie? Thanks for the 13 months, Sofrio. Let's see if we can get... Uh... Is it a quick job that I want? Or do I just go... How does this work again? Do I just go to a place? No, no, no. Here, it's the freight market. What's up, garlic? Can do Everett. Tacoma, Seattle. I'm already here in Seattle. Let's see if there's anything that takes me to Texas. Oh, wow. Hmm. What about out of Everett? I want I want a nice long drive. Oh my god, I have let this cat in and out of my office so many times today. Yes. We're waiting. Great. Okay. MJ is here. <laughs> She's polite. Come on. She's just begging. Oh, She's begging wow. all day, every day. Nothing there. I really want to go to Texas. I have the Texas DLC installed. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for visiting. 
Okay. MJ is gone. Mmm, what a hamburger. <laughs> She's... Maybe she might be back uh, here in a little bit. Uh, these are all so short. Doesn't anyone want to do like a really long... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's to Fort Worth. Oh, shit. That's so far away. <laughs> that's not what that's not what I want. OK, maybe I'm going to have to go down to California and get something to take. Maybe they just don't do really long. Maybe that's just too long of a, a drive. Maybe truckers don't typically go from Washington State to Texas. Uh, yeah, I'm sorted by price, which I would assume would be the same. You'd think a longer one would get you more. That one's pretty good. Why don't I do that? I don't know. I'm assuming that the uh, they'll wait for me. I could just drive there without um, a load to Oregon, Ontario, Oregon, and then pick it up and uh, cut through to Texas. Oh. What's up, Meep? Twitch won't let you subscribe. You're a, you're a sub in my heart. Tapioca star, I, I know you are. Okay, I'm gonna set this, hopefully this is still here by the time I get there. A rye Sunday. Thank you for the 10 months. MBC, thanks for the 23 months. Voxel Trots, thank you for the 9 months. Owl Capwin, thanks for the prime sub. The Homie Will, with the 4 months. Hope you're having a good Saturday, Ian. I'm doing alright. I just ate some toast. That's how it's been so far. Uh, Pirate Artisans, thank you for the 2 months. Hey, Ian, looking forward to the chill trucking. Stabler Cake says hi. Oh, hey, Stabler. Electric Pickles, mm, thank you for the 32 months. I have COVID right now, and this stream is a blessing. I'll help you feel better, Pickles. Eagle in your mind, thank you for the 14 months. Chonky Noodle, thanks for the two months. Mo Chicken, thanks for gifting that sub to Tapioca Star. And Pretty Princess Apes, thank you for the three months. Pat, Pat's for MJ. I would do so. Uh, were she here? Maybe she'll... Maybe she'll show up again. At some point. Okay, it has been a while. Let me settle in. Just want to relax and uh, not run into anything. I just spent most of my money. I spent like 150k on this truck the other day. Oh! Wow. All the recommendations on your Twitch page are playing Pokemon. Yeah, I figured it was my time to strike. Everyone's playing Pokemon and I just don't have, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> so now is my time to shine. Are you kidding me? Mm, what a hamburger. That's a fucking joke. Oh. Okay, this way. Yesterday, one, two, thank you very much for the 17 months. Scampy Pants, thank you for the 10 months. And Kitten in a Bowl, thanks for the four months. Woot woot, chill truck. Yeah, what else? You, would you guys watch some more uh, Chillscape? I just had a conversation about RuneScape the other day, and it, uh, it, it made me kind of miss it. Yes, please. I can do that. Might want to try uh, streaming in the morning more. Because uh, my mornings haven't been very productive lately. So if I could just wake up and plop down and put on some chill truck or some chill stream. Or uh, ch chill scape, I mean. Might be good for everybody involved. What up, Jimmy? How how is the Pokemon? Like what's the what's the verdict? 
uh, from you guys. How do you... I've heard that it's good, just it doesn't run well. Taking bets on how long we until we talk about food. No food discussions today. Good, but unoptimized. janky I, I it from as a as a sonic fan it was kind of funny to watch everybody shitting on how frontiers uh ran and then all of a sudden pokemon comes out and it looks like way worse Ooh. come on i watched uh i watched jeff space hamster i watched him play for a decent amount of time well i was I was almost treating it like a podcast. I was listening to him play, and I would occasionally watch. And he seemed to be having a good time. You enjoyed Frontiers? Frontiers, I still haven't decided. Like, I I played a little bit last night on my Steam Deck, and I just don't... I just don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I need to figure out what my what's cruise control. Cause I need to not sp I need to not speed. Speeding really adds up. Um Cruise Control C or Joy X. Uh, Sandro Ezz, thank you for the prime sub. Jeffrey the Hedgehog one, thanks for the sixteen months. And Waffles is a bunny, thank you so very much for the seventy-six months. Howdy, Moose. Hope things are going swell. Things have gotten a bit hectic with the holidays coming up, so I'm glad uh, you've got a chill place to just vibe at. Atom, drive safe out there. Thank you so much, Waffles. Always good to hear from you. Needs more to interact with. I'm still in the desert level of Sonic Frontiers, and I just... I don't know. I need more stuff like the, uh... Like the fishing... Uh, maybe the plot... The, the plot so far seems to be, I don't... Nobody knows what's going on, which is... I mean, that's fine, but it's not the most engaging thing ever, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. I use a I use a controller. I've got an Xbox uh, One, Xbox. I have some sort of Xbox controller. I could get a wheel at some point, but I don't know. I think I'm kind of fine. How do you move your? If you have a wheel, how do you move your head around? Because that's kind of an important part. Keyboard drivers are nuts. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think I do keyboard driving. What up, sailor? Can you pick up hitchhikers? I wish. Need the VR. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start trying out VR uh, a little bit more seriously tomorrow. I've got a friend who wants to. Uh, I might actually check out VR chat just uh, just because I want to see we want to see what's there. Uh, not not for a video or anything, but just just for funds. You're gonna make the Instacart game simulator. I'll play it if you do. Oh, it looks so nice. Ooh ooh. Yes, this is based on a real map. So what they do is they take the state and they kind of shrink it down. Uh, it's really bizarre. If if you drive through an area that you're like familiar with the real location, it's it's like driving through a weird memory. Like there's there's locations that you go, oh yeah, I I've been here. I know where that is, and then. Uh, everything else is just kind of like vaguely correct, you know. Yeah, we're current. We're currently in Washington, 
Um, I think we're headed down to Oregon. Yeah, Ontario, Oregon. We're going to pick up some... I think it was like dried foods or something like that. We're going to pick up some cargo in Oregon and then go all the way down to... I think it's Fort Worth, Texas. And meet up in the metaverse. That's uh that's a maybe. We're bringing the slim gems. No, we can't talk about food. Remember, we've got to talk about other things. What's another great uh, thing to talk about? All U.S. states are not in this currently. They just released Texas. What they've been doing is they've started on the West Coast, and they're slowly expanding. It's gotten pretty big so far. Texas itself is just massive. Um, but they're really cruising along, honestly. I think it started with just four states. Does that sound right? Did it start with California? Oh. Uh, Nevada, New Mexico. I don't really remember. I'm resisting the food, okay? Ari Lu, thank you very much for the 10 months. Can you drive through national parks? I actually don't know. I'm assuming not, but it would... I don't know. They, I saw Grand Canyon listed on there, so maybe... Yeah, I remember being disappointed when it came out, and it was just like a few states, but like the game is so big, and they do a really good job with the maps, so I'm patient now. Plus, it's uh, you know it's fun when a new state comes out. Can we stop at Burgerville? If we if I see a Burgerville, we can stop at Burgerville. We just can't talk about it. I did. I am cruise controlling. And we are headed towards Texas. The goal is to make it to Texas today. Mm -hmm. Tapioca Star. Thanks for gifting those five subs. If you're a new sub, be sure to link, uh, link up to the Twitch sub discord. It's nice and chill in there. I have to go to the bathroom. Can we pull over? No, you gotta pee out the window. We gotta make good time. There's there's things to to tow. Oh wow. What is Mount Splashmore? Oh man, it's so pretty. Like I wanna Okay. I'm driving safe. I want to see the views, but I also don't want to let up on the cruise control. Okay, someone who's remembers this game. I mean, I know I've played a, too much of this game, but I've already forgotten. The bed, my sleep thing. Is that blue bar filling up, and when it fills up completely, I'm tired? Or does it drain down, and when I'm drained down, I'm tired? I feel like I might need to pull over and nap, because uh, I'm getting a little sleepy. It drains? No, it fills up. Drains, fills up, oh no. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> well, I'll just figure it out. I think it fills up. I'm gonna take a nap. I'll just, I'll find a, a nap place. I'll take a nap and we'll just see what it does. Dead meat, James. Thanks for subscribing. How's it going, James? Oh, shit. I saw your, um... Your trailer that you posted. I think it was yesterday. Or your concept, proof of concept, or whatever it was. It was legit. Concept proved.
Do I need to make sure I'm driving under the legal limit of drivable hours a day? I don't think so. I think it's just falling asleep. I don't any I don't think anyone tattles on me if I drive too many. an epitape Adderall. That would be kind of cool. You know, if you could like level up your guy, like as I got further in the game, I could uh, unlock. Oh shit. I could unlock Adderall or, you know. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, uh, hit me up on, uh, do we have each other on Discord? Hit me up somewhere. Let's figure out how to work on something. I'm in I'm on I'm in work together mood. I just recorded a uh I did a collab with some some people the other day uh, that I've never worked with. It was it was very nice. I want to do more work with people. I was going to do that today. I was actually going to record something with people today and then I just didn't I didn't <laughs> didn't seem like anyone was online. I just uh I just decided to truck instead. See you, James. Do you not hear the... Do you not have jazz? I'm listening to jazz. Can you guys not hear my jazz? Can you hear it if I pause? You hear it? I'll turn it up a little bit. I want to hear the sounds of the car, but I also do want to hear the, uh, the jazz. One of these days, I'll be good at balancing my audio as I stream. I think... It's going to take another couple years, but, you know, I'll get there. <laughs> get there mm, what days. a hamburger. <laughs> Latrodectal. Thank you for the three months. Three months, yay. Thank you for all you do, Ian. Not a problem. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Oh, yeah, Goosebuds was fun. You know, Goosebuds was the first time I'd done a podcast maybe ever. Uh, I don't I don't tend to podcast very much. I get nervous on podcasts. Oh right, I need to look for a nap spot. Could probably get off here at Kennewick and nap. You see deer in this game? I'm not sure. You see tumbleweeds. That's kind of like a it's <laughs> kind of like a deer. <laughs> Steering wheel settings are messed up. I just I asked this earlier and I didn't spot an answer. When you play with a wheel, how do you like look around with your head? Cause I might I might play with a wheel. I might try a wheel sometime. Did I ever visit Austin when I lived in the DFW area? Yeah, I went to Austin a few times, not a ton. Uh, I had a cousin that lived close-ish, closer to Austin than I did, so uh, I remember going downtown with him a, a couple times. Reach to mouse or use D-pad. Hmm. It seems hard. Reminds me of my road trip video. We're basically doing uh, the drive. I mean, we're going from here to Fort Worth, so. I did this one once. There's an eye tracker you can buy that works with the game. That sounds a little intense. I have not played the long drive. You know, I, I bought the long drive recently because uh, I was going to try it on Steam Deck. 
but it didn't. I, if, if I remember correctly, it didn't run well. Hanima, thank you very much for the 46 months. Oh shit. Um. And hold reset. Thank you for the two months. Alive Moose, such a great chill stream. Thank you very much. I'll give the long drive a try on stream sometimes. Since it didn't work on my Steam Deck, uh, I might as well just play it here. Is the Christmas music appropriate now? We are currently going to Oregon to pick up uh, something, and then we're going to take that something to Texas. Can set it up to turn with your wheel and also adjust the slider. So when it when you turn it looks that way. Oh, that's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. I mean we listen to Christmas music all year here anyway, so you know. Jacked Nipplson. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. I had a phase where I enjoyed watching semi-truck cab video tours. Dude, you know what's something I want to do along that line? It's not um, truck cabin tours, but I really want to go to an RV show again. I used to go to RV shows with my family, and it was just like, like mini house tours, basically. And I feel like if they would let me film it, I could make a really cool, cozy video looking at RVs just buy an RV. Yeah, I'll just buy one. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. They definitely do uh they do have an RV show in Seattle. I don't know when it is, but I know they have one. Went to Arby's. <laughs> legit. I got this legit video idea. I'm going to go to Arby's. Holy shit. I can't believe I hadn't thought of this before. <laughs> They got the meats! <laughs> I don't like Arby's. I mean, no, I'm not talking about food. I was just referencing the building. I had no comment about uh, the quality of the meats. Does not count as a food conversation. Blackbird 6361. Thank you so very much for the $2. This wo this woad is windy. Sending you some money to tell you to try Arcade Paradise. I'd love to, actually. You run a laundry and slowly turn it into an arcade while playing the cabinets to get bonus items. Uh, that one's definitely on my list. Uh, thank you very much, Blackbird. I need more, I need some game recommendations. Specifically, I'm looking for some, like, narratively good adventure. Not, not, is it role-playing? Not quite an RPG. Uh, but my boyfriend and I, we just played through Faith, the Unholy Trinity, which was badass. And now we just uh, finished getting all the endings in Yuppie Psycho, which I really enjoyed. Turn on my headlights. I don't know what button that is. Oh no, I turned off the truck. <laughs> I turned the truck off entirely. Hold on, I don't know what button it is. Night in the Woods is on our list. Disco Elysium. I think a lot of people talk about that, but it... Okay, hold on. I got to figure out how to turn on my lights. Um, it doesn't look, like, visually very interesting to me. Ooh, Frog Detective is on the list. I thought those would be pretty good, too. Uh... Oh, okay, so it's just keyboard. There's no... 
Disco is all text-based. Eh, I want like an adventure... Some type of adventure narrative game that like rewards... Oh, shit! Um, rewards exploration, you know? I need to turn my wipers off. What console? Uh, Steam PC. Steam or PC. Hey, congratulations, uh, Chili. Way to go. Phoenix Wright's pretty good. They, you don't really explore. I mean, you kind of do. I love I love Ace Attorney, um, but I don't know that that's exactly what we're looking for. I have heard of the Outer Wilds. Is that one good? I don't know what Quest for Glory is. We watched a little bit of Omori, like we watched a playthrough of it. I didn't really like it. I'm trying to not... I, I love reading the chat, but I'm also trying not to die horribly. They should let me have an in-game phone, and I have to, like, look down at chat. I thought... Uh, I played a little bit of Sludge Life. I thought Sludge Life was pretty good. Texting and driving simulator. I mean, it's basically what I'm what I'm doing. Okay, thank you for the recommendations. It honestly, it kind of sounds like... It sounds like stuff I was already looking at. I, I've been, we've been like, just going all over Steam trying to find uh, some games. Uh, we're really digging the character-driven adventure stuff. Oh, I need to nap. I'm, I'm yawning. Dan Dang Done It. Thanks so much for the 13 months. Lucky number 13. Huzzah. New Oregon Trail. I watched uh, I watched Jeff play some of the New Oregon Trail. It looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'll probably stick with 2 and 3 myself. Just because I like the FMB, you know. I like those. I like the real people. Oh, did my cruise control turn on? Ooh, Spider-Man. We don't really... We're not really into the superheroes, but... Uh, the idea of exploring a city as Spider-Man does sound fun. I'm gonna fall asleep at the wheel out here. Um... This is not a one-to-one -one simulation. Uh, they shrink the map down. So it's definitely... I, I don't know, because they, they shrink it down, but at the same time... Um, I mean, you can see that the, the time passes by faster. So I don't know if they even that out. Is it supposed to be like a rough estimate of how long it actually takes to get to a place? I have no clue. Can you die? No, unfortunately not. People could make mods for it, though. I mean, why not? Persona 5 is too, uh... It's too RPG for me. I don't want to, I really don't want to play anything that has, like, battle sequences where you, like, stand there and you click attack over and over again. I, that's not my, that's not really my jam. Come on, we gotta go faster than this. I gotta get, I gotta take a nap. I really gotta nap. Yeah, we played um, Detroit Become Human when it first came out. I barely remember it. 
Uh, but I remember enjoying it. Okay, here we go. Surely I can nap over here. Thank you, thank you. I'm very skilled. Oh shit, I just <laughs> just ran into that post. Al Bobson. Thanks for the prime sub. Is this a Bucky's? It's a... Uh... Doesn't look like a Bucky's to me. It looks more like a like a Loves, the kind of medium trucker size gas stations. Uh, where do I where do I park for sleep? How do I get back there? Do I go the other way? You take a smoke break. See, these would be great additions. I think they should add it. Let me smoke in the car. I'm trying to sleep. I'm looking for sleep. I'm just going to sleep right in the middle. Rema0803, thank you for the two months. Oh, excuse me. Turn the music down just a little for me. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully... <laughs> I really don't know if they're gonna save the uh, the cargo for me. Like, how long is it gonna take me to get there? There's a mod in the Steam Workshop that lets you sleep in the sleeper portion of the cab, but you can still drive from that perspective too. That's pretty hilarious. I don't have a sleeper cab. I wanted one, but I uh, was not the correct level, and I also did not have the cash. Oh, wow. Edible Skeleton. Thank you for the nine months. Any chance of Among Us streams? You're a big Susie boosy, so you do great. Probably not. Uh, I played a little bit of Among Us uh, once. I played a lot. I think I actually played one time, and then I immediately was like, I'm not going to play this anymore. Zephyr Nikki, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, did I win? I don't think so. I like being a like a crewmate and just kind of doing the little mini games, but the 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 social deception, I just that's not my kind of game. All right, here we go. What other multiplayer games are hot right now? I should try and like multiplayer game with people more. It's not something I really do right now. Did not play Neo Scavenger. I haven't heard of that one. Club Penguin. I thought Club Penguin got shut down. I'm still playing Roblox. I mean, I know everyone wants to play Roblox with me. Habo Hotel. Is Club Penguin actually back? Did someone bring it back? I do want to try uh, Garfield uh, Lasagna Party. Did that come out? I haven't seen anybody play it. I kind of thought it would be something that everybody played when it came out. It did come out? Well, maybe I should play. I, I thought it would I thought it would be like a Pokemon moment where everyone when it came out, you'd go on Twitch and literally everyone would be playing a lasagna party. Okay, 
I'm, I am trying to be a good driver. Like, I'm trying to go the speed limit. I don't want to bonk anybody. Money is tight right now. I can't be bonking or getting speeding tickets. Came out at the same time as Sonic. Well, okay. You, that's not good. Release, release strategy, Garfield. I love just listening to the, the sounds of the truck sometimes. Look down to send a text and crash. Yeah, you gotta be, uh... You gotta be skilled at uh, multitasking while driving. It's a good, good practice for, <laughs> for real life. What are you guys doing? Who's doing something fun while I'm sitting on your TV or your little screen? Woo! Is anybody playing RuneScape? I, I still got RuneScape on the brain. Making a burrito? Editing? I should be editing. I was looking at my editing and then I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stream instead. Making a video game? Jealous. Con you're on a conference call at work. Put me on. Let me make the business calls. Okay, here we go. We're not we're not at Lone Star State just yet, but we're headed that way. We're almost out of Oregon. I'm gonna pick up pick up some stuff over here, and then we're gonna head to Texas. RPG Maker, that's cool. Oh, my cat is stuck. Yeah, the cat gets stuck. She, uh, you know, sometimes she walks. Sometimes she just likes to stand there. You know, there's... I can't control it. I mean, I can control it, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, shit. It's not here. Well, let's just go to Colorado. I'm just going to make... Oh, no. That's... I don't want to do... Nuts. <laughs> I don't want to do... Uh, I don't think a double truck is a good idea. It's going to Colorado, but I don't know. I'll just take this one. We're going to do packaged food... To Wyoming, and then we'll try and go to Texas from there. I'm just gonna take random jobs until uh, I make it. Where? Where? It's definitely one of these. Maybe. Oh, shit. I ran into something. Boom. Dude, good luck with your interview, Tapioca.
I'm happy to not be interviewing. It's not my forte, I don't think. Okay. And we're off to wherever I said we were gonna go. No, clearly if I'm not talking about food, uh, you know, it doesn't go well. That's probably what I would end up talking about in a job interview, actually. What's up, Vilify? Gotta look for a new job. I'm sure you'll do fine, though. Interviews are one of those things that, whoopsies. I feel like they sound worse than they actually are. Oh, this is not the right way, but I'll go anyway. I am a full-time YouTuber, it's true. The rumors are true. It's such a weird sentence. Okay. I totally uh, misread my uh, current uh, brand deal thing. I thought I was going to have a video out this weekend, but it's actually not until next weekend. Uh, the good news is the video is done early. But I'm going to new mystery tapes next weekend, and then hopefully by then the mall video will be right behind it. Because I can start working on that today. Zoop. And then I got a Christmas movie collab that I need to film. And then possibly a Christmas foods. Possibly. I have an idea. We'll just see what happens. Dude, best of luck on all the uh, the job hunt. How is it being a uh, full-time YouTuber? Do I get bored? Yeah, I do. Uh, that's why I need to stream more. I think just working from home for so long, it does get a little uh, uh, monotonous. I'm excited for the Christmas movie review. Uh, I'm excited to collab, too. Are my taxes hard to file? Not really. Pretty basic. Did I watch Falling for Xmas? I did not. I can't say what it is that we're planning on talking about, but I think it's going to be a good one. Let's talk about taxes. Since we're not going to talk about food this stream, let's just let's just fill that time with with discussions on on taxes. Yeah, dude, health insurance while self-employed is really annoying. That's not any more interesting of a discussion topic, but it's true. It's true. What's my favorite tax? Uh, uh, I don't know. Sa sales tax. I love being taxed on sales. Do I hire an accounting firm? Nah. <laughs> I just do. Uh, I just do TurboTax. <laughs> just do it myself. I'm probably doing it correctly, or maybe I'm not. You know. I don't need to be thinking about... Why am I thinking about taxes? Is it this just payback for disallowing the food? We can talk about food if this is how it's going to go. If this is how it's going to be, let's. we should just embrace the food.
Tax Talk, the podcast. I really wanted to, uh, what I wanted to do this morning, I thought about uh, filming some type of like short form, one off kind of a video just for, just for website or for Twitter, but I, I don't know. I don't know like what to talk about if I'm not reviewing a movie. I, I conversation flows a lot better when I stream, so I should probably just stream. I've t I've talked to to some someone. I've talked about starting a podcast. I just don't know. Like again, wow. it's it's an interesting idea, but I, I don't have any beyond the idea that it would be an interesting format to try. I don't really have any big inspiration for it, so. And I'm not going to do it if it's just going to be, like, boring. Zwit! Thanks so much for the 10 months. Yeah, well, Luke is... Clearly, Luke is who I was talking to. But what, what do Luke and I talk about? We just need to do more, like, game stuff. I still want to play Lego Island with him. I like having the game as a jumping off point for talking. I do that better than just sitting there. I feel like if we were just sitting there having a discussion without something else to hold my attention, I would just, I would not focus. I don't have any traffic mods on. What, uh, what kind of traffic mods are there? movie podcast? I don't watch enough movies. I guess I could start watching movies. Busy traffic. No, I just have a regular. Oh shit, there's a burger place. We missed it. Play a game for an hour and talk about whatever. That's pretty much what I think I'm gonna do. Ermembor. Thank you very much for the two months. That's why I want to do more. Uh, that's why I'm happy to do Chill Truck again. Because I, I really feel like I need to be posting more things. Uh, so I need some easy stuff that I actually like to do. Review YouTube videos you watch. I don't watch a ton of YouTube. What are you guys watching on YouTube? I feel like maybe the algorithm just doesn't like me. Uh, it doesn't really... I, I, I have trouble oh, finding things wow. I actually want to watch on YouTube right now. Cognetto, thanks for gifting that sub. It was very generous. Your algorithm is confused. Same five videos from seven years ago. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Brutal moves. <laughs> Well, I can't say that I watch a lot of Brutal Moves. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think the last YouTube video I watched was... Uh, I was watching Rand, Rand and Robin Miller talk about Myst in, in like an interview somewhere. Game Grumps. See, I'm just not that, like... Like, the games that... I, I'm not... I'm, I'm getting back into games. I kind of fell out of games for a while. So maybe that is what I look at, need to look into. I watched, um... I was watching, um... Manly Badass Hero. Because he plays a bunch of, uh cool indie horror games. But it can be like, now that I want to play those games, I, you know, I don't want him to spoil things for me, so. But he is, he does have some good ones. Whoop. Whoop. Film cow. I watched. Um, I've been tuning into uh, DS Koopa's 
uh, Twitch streams where he streams from the his retro game shops. Those are pretty chill. Depends on watching the actual performance from the Barbie birthday VHS. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Have I gotten a traffic ticket IRL? I sure did. Uh, I was speeding and I was in, in college. Dance for Pedro. Uh, and I sure did get a ticket. And then after that, I didn't speed. I don't speed anymore. <laughs> it just took the one ticket. Can't tell if that's MJ wanting it or not. Who's the big, um, who's making the popular YouTube poops now? Who's the big, uh, pooper on YouTube? I should, I should look into that. Is the thing still going? I just mentioned him. I replied to someone on Tumblr who was asking me my YouTube poop inspirations and I list I said uh to things and Durham Rocker Z I should I should check out see if he's still doing it Oop. yeah I'm still on Tumblr I never left I mean I guess I did leave but I never deleted it I'll have to check out the things. Wow, it's made is a classic. Do I still check my website? I sure do. I haven't posted to my website in a while. I just haven't had much to say. But I still check it. How do I feel about the whole Twitter upset? I mean, it's been, you know, it's been the most entertaining thing <laughs> to pay attention to in quite some time. Two days ago, I think it was two days ago, my entire, my entire timeline was just people tweeting all their other social media. That's all it was all day, were, were people saying, Twitter is is dead, it's it's imploding, find me here, find me here. And then the next day it was just, it was like nothing happened, it was just like nothing, it was like back to normal. Oh my God. You can't like get all the way over? Uh, I find it very entertaining. I don't I don't think I don't think Twitter's going anywhere. I think uh it might get shitty, but I don't think it's just going to vanish. Like to participate in mass hysteria. It's definitely something, you know. It's a uh an eventful time on Twitter. crash constantly. I'm I'm going out of my way to really try to not crash today cuz I want to I want to get my money back. Be surprised if it survives into 2023 without significant downtime. I mean, even if it did have downtime, I just think it would come back and be fine. But we'll see. I don't know how to run a social media. I don't. I have no idea how any of that shit works. So I'm just kind of, uh, you know, along for the ride. I should have stopped and got gas there. Maybe there'll be a place up up ahead. Yeah, it's kind of cool that Tumblr is active again, though. That's a nice side effect. 
I looked at Mastodon for a second. I read one page trying to figure out what Mastodon was, and then I was like, nah, <laughs> nope. And then I looked at uh, I looked at co-host. I think I got my name on co-host, but it was just so slow that I was like, nah. I'll just uh, I'll just stay on Twitter. <laughs> I need to be... Need to be over. I'm using controller to drive. I'm using an, uh, an Xbox controller. Another Christmas. I did not think this was Christmas, but... Oh, 70. Finally, a fast speed limit. Should I nap? Am I allowed to nap? I feel like I should just look for gas. I think the gas is more important than the nap. Infernal Bard, thank you so very much for the 24 months. Thank you, thank you. What am I hauling? I'm hauling some type of food. I think it I think it just said packaged food. Nuts. No, I did not take the nut job. God, sometimes the I thought my I thought my uh, cruise control turned on, but it did not. I'm glad you like the chill games. I'm I'm planning on doing more chill streams. I have other stuff I want to play, for sure. But I want to do some more of these too, because I also quite enjoy it. I'm gonna get Oregon Trail. Probably not. Um, I just don't like. I like Oregon Trail too. I think. I think what I like about Oregon Trail isn't necessarily the game itself, uh, but the just the general aesthetic of the two and three. I'm not emotionally tied to the actual journey uh, to the Oregon Trail. That's just kind of there. Any new good chill games out this year? Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. People are recommending Ar Arcade Paradise is one that keeps coming up that seems pretty chill. I think that was this year. Oh, do I have to go... How do I get over there? There we go. Ooh, they got great music. What kind of music? What's the uh, music like in that game? Dude, it is just Christmas time over here. custom keycaps what I get for my keyboard I use like a I can't I don't know if I can do custom keycaps I have like a it's just like a shitty Logitech I specifically got this because the buttons were so squishy I was I was tired of the clicky loud keyboards and so I got a a shitty Logitech one that was nice and squishy okay here we go. Uh, mechanical keyboards are all right. I think I am going to take a nap. 
Um, they're pretty loud. I did get uh, tired eventually of them. Merry Christmas. What do you guys want for Christmas? Thanksgiving or holiday plans? It sounds like it's just going to be a... Uh, just uh, me and the boy f for Thanksgiving. He prepares a delicious feast. And I eat the food. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be decking the halls. While he cooks the food, I will be um, decorating for Christmas. And then I don't know about Christmas plans. Probably more of the same. Try to get together with uh, friends around here. Uh, but, um, you know, schedule conflicts and sometimes we don't really want to do anything. <laughs> so. And then we're going to do for stream... We're going to watch, we're going to have the Uncle Nickathon uh, when Christmas rolls a bit closer because the last VHS in the Uncle Nick uh, collection is a Christmas episode. So we'll watch four Uncle Nick episodes, including the one we already saw. So we'll get to hear the teeter-totter song again, everybody's favorite. You want to go ghost hunting? That'd be interesting. I feel like... I feel like I would be a weenie ghost hunting. It's not something I really believe in, but I think just doing it... I think I would make me afraid. I haven't watched my videos in the past months. Did I miss anything good? Uh, I haven't uploaded in a couple months at this point, right? It's been a, it's been a hot minute. I thought my Gerber video was good. I think my, my latest Gerber video is one of my recent favorites. But new videos on the way starting next weekend. Have I seen the Rhett and Link skate commercial? I have not. Will I do an Uncle Nick video for the main channel? Ah, uh, maybe? Maybe we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see how the episodes end up. Zoop. I am trying to get on top of it though. I know I haven't been uploading. This past year was not my most productive year. Uh just not really not not an inspired year, you know? It's like how I was talking about how I don't really have I have trouble finding things to watch on YouTube. It's, I'm just not inspired by the platform right now, and it makes it kind of frustrating to work on stuff. But it's a solvable problem. I think doing more streams is a good idea. Because I can bounce off, uh, bounce ideas off you guys and whatnot. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I fall off on streaming just because I get behind on YouTube stuff, but I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to do that anymore. If I'm behind on YouTube stuff, I'm just gonna be behind on YouTube stuff, and that's just, <laughs> that's just how it's gonna be. Right lane ends. Feeling any holiday stuff, um, like holiday, uh, what do you mean? Like stuff that I'm making or stuff that I'm enjoying? 
because I do enjoy the holidays. And I will have at least one Christmas video this December. Yeah, I like streaming more. I do get, um, you know, I, I like talking with you guys and actually hanging out. I think I definitely miss that. I, st I stopped streaming for, what, like half a year? And I think I forgot how much I liked it. It is. It's like I like you guys or something. It's also the only real place to connect community-wise uh, in a super... Oh, this is not a good idea. Super meaningful way. The Discord's good, too, but it's, you know, it's attached to the Twitch. Oh, this fucking sucks. Well, I'm not having fun anymore, that's for sure. How do I honk? I, every time I guess what a button is, I turn the car. There it is. I'm gonna do some RuneScape treasure trails. That's what I wanna do. I gotta pick uh, RuneScape back up and do the holiday events. Maybe I could do the, the Christmas event. That would be a good stream. Oh, my neighborhood already has Christmas lights up and stuff. I really need to, like, get moving. I at least need to go to Lowe's and pick out some new decorations. Beep, beep. Horn sounds so weird. It's like fading in. I'm gonna get Christmas with the Cranked. I actually don't even remember what happens in that movie. Well, I think my parents liked Christmas with the Cranks. Okay, that's my limit. That's my limit, I can't be sung at. Don't sing to me about children. God, this is... This is not my favorite... Uh, not the most scenic drive right now. This song comes up every stream. It's because I just search the same thing every time, and I just play the same playlist. I should really, like, jump down the playlist and skip up. Maybe I could do that. I can just skip ahead. Zoom. There we go. That's how it's done. I don't drive that fast. It's I'm driving the the speed limit 65. That was an illegal move. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was I think it was legal. The objective of the game is to get a bunch of money and own a trucking empire. Uh, you can buy a bunch of trucks and hire employees so you can get, like, passive income while your your team drives around for you. Uh, you can buy garages. I think you can... I think you can improve garages after you buy them? I'm not sure about that, though. You guys gonna listen to uh, Christmas Shoes this year? 
Is that a yearly tradition for you guys like it is for me? You gotta watch the music video too about those shoes. Well, because he wants to buy the shoes for his mother. You can't say no to that. Welcome to Montana. Oh, dude, this is awesome. You know, I saw in the controls list, I saw a button for like walking controls. Can you get out of your truck in this game now? Can you actually wander around the uh, towns? You've never listened to the Christmas shoe song? Well, that changes this year. It's gonna be your new favorite. What areas of US? They started with the West Coast and they're kind of working their way east. They're about halfway through. They just added fucking seriously? I was going under 30, dude. I, was I speeding there? I feel like I wasn't speeding there. What a factory. You've never heard of the Christmas shoe song? You're telling me Christmas shoes doesn't sweep TikTok every holiday season? The kids aren't doing Fortnite dances to, <laughs> to Christmas shoes? For those that, if you don't, actually don't know, it's about it's a it's about a child wanting to, wanting to, but not being able to afford to buy shoes for his dying mother. It's 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 real, uh, you know. It's up there with Dominic the Christmas Donkey on like the cheerfulness scale. Very cheerful, upbeat song. I feel like I remember my mom like intentionally playing that song she had a couple on rotation uh, that I did not care for we had one of those sound systems with like the 5 CD thing that would rotate and randomize so you could like skip around a bunch of different CDs at once and I, I know that Christmas Shoes was on there and there was another one I think it was just called Merry Christmas Jesus and it was a it was a chorus of children and it just drove me up a wall. I did not like it at all. Uh, but I like I like most other I mean I like most Christmas music. There's just a few that I, I can't take. Oh, Nat King Cole? I've got a Nat King Cole uh, Christmas album now. Now I just I play vinyls. I play Christmas vinyls, but I don't think I've heard I'm getting nothing for Christmas. I've heard the Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas song. That one's, uh, you know, that one's also a choice. <laughs> Hula hoop. <laughs> That's what I want for Christmas. Why won't anyone get me a hula hoop for Christmas? Michael Bublé is great. I really love when he sings Santa Buddy. It's my favorite. It's my favorite Michael Bublé Christmas jam. He's just buddies with Santa, okay? <laughs> no homo Santa. <laughs> uh, he needs to put out another like album of original songs. I actually quite enjoy Michael Buble. No homo Santa. That's going to be on my Christmas album. I'm stealing that. I'm going to do I'm going to sing No Homo Santa. <laughs> I 
did in sync or backstreet boys did they do a christmas album if so i need to get it i feel like that could be pretty good backstreet boys did i gotta look into that in sync had one or they did one song what was in sync's christmas back all right uh, that would be great if they just redid all of their existing songs and just threw the word Christmas in there. I think that would be fucking <laughs> amazing. John Lennon's Christmas music. Can't say I'm familiar with that one. I live in this area. This is really accurate. Yeah, I really love... I mean, it's crazy how accurate they get while still, you know, abbreviating it a bit. I love these shopping centers. Seems like a nice area. What's up, 44551188? What's your favorite Christmas song? And why is it Christmas Shoes? Oh, dude, we gotta go to Pizza House. Oh my god, I remember Merry Christmas, The War Is Over. Not my favorite. I did not see Violent Night, no. Is that supposed to be any good, or is it just supposed to be, you know, a movie? Oops. Do you guys want, like, do you have any specials or anything? I know... And we're, we're substituting food with Christmas, and we've got a lot of time to talk about Christmas, so I probably shouldn't dwell on it too much. Uh, but do you guys watch anything? Like, do you have a specific Christmas thing that you tend to watch every year? Jacked Nipplson, thank you so much for the two months. I've been watching you since, like, uh, 2011, but I've only been a subscriber for two months, like a rube. Cheers. Thanks so much, Jack. You watch A Christmas Carol? I used to love uh, watching A Christmas Story. But I feel like the only thing that has really survived... Oh, and I would watch Christmas Vacation. But the only thing that's a for sure thing anymore, I think, is... Uh, I watch the Harry Potter movies. Those always feel very Christmassy to me. But Christmas Vacation was like a family tradition for a while. I saw Jingle All the Way for the first time, like, one or two years ago. Actually, a lot better than I was expecting. As someone who hadn't seen it before, I actually liked it a, a decent amount. Oh, yeah! I heard about the new Christmas Story movie. Isn't it supposed to actually be a sequel? Like, the main guy is back? He's gonna call him a kid, but I'm assuming he's, <laughs> I'm assuming he's not a kid anymore. Watch Christmas Vacation even when it's not Christmas. I feel like we watched Christmas Vacation every Thanksgiving. I think it was kind of like a kick off the season. Uh, kind of a movie. I did not see Krampus. I don't. I don't do hor I don't watch a lot of horror movies. He's a grown man. I still haven't seen Polar Express. Maybe I should maybe I should write that wrong at some point. Would I would P Polar Express be something worth talking about? Would I have a reaction strong enough to actually talk about that movie? Die Hard. You know, I remember watching Die Hard for the first time. I think I watched it in college. 
and I was convinced it was going to be terrible. But you know, once again, I I thought that was pretty. I thought Die Hard was pretty solid. Yeah, Polar Express is the one I would play every year. I don't. I'm not doing it anymore. I've retired the Polar Express tradition because I just I just can't take it anymore. <laughs> Uh, we can find something else. We'll we'll find something else to play. We're gonna watch Uncle Nick's Christmas, so maybe that'll be the new Christmas tradition. Ooh, Mystery Science Theater Christmas episode's a great, a great one where the Santa Claus versus the Martians, and the one where he, it's Santa Claus versus the Devil. That one is also really good. Yeah, Santa's a busy a busy guy. I guess he's only busy for, you know, like one night, so he's got time to go conquer the Martians d during the rest of the year. They play Christmas-themed riff tracks in theaters? That's got to be a good time. I should really watch... I haven't watched Mystery Science Theater or riff tracks. I haven't watched any of that kind of thing recently at all. I should start watching through the old episodes again. Oh, the old Christmas claymation. I don't really like the old Christmas claymation movies. It's not really for me. Does Santa make Xboxes? Santa's, at some point, Santa's just going to start doing drone delivery. You know, it's going to be way easier and more cost effective than just one guy going around doing it. I should make a Christmas special. Like, I should make a more narrative Christmas adventure. I could probably write some type of classic Christmas tale. Oh, you know, Shinmu would be a great Christmas game. Santa's actually in that one. Ian Christmas movie. What's my, if I'm in a Christmas movie, what's my like arc? I could be like Scrooge. Or what's his face? Is it Scrooge that's in uh, Christmas Carol? And then uh, at the end of the movie, you know, I get the Christmas present, past, future. But instead of changing my ways, I just double down. And then the movie ends. <laughs> now, I think all that was bullshit. The end. Ooh, it could be like a Hallmark. What if I'm, what if I awake and find myself in like a Hallmark Christmas movie, like the that is my re now reality. I would just wake up and everyone's a like a Christmas zombie. I become an actual moose and join Santa's reindeer to become free. <laughs> that's also, you know, that's a direction. I did not see Grumpy Cat Christmas. Did anyone do a good review of Grumpy Cat Christmas? Surely somebody did. Yeah, waking up in a Hallmark movie does sound like hell. I think that's a great, I think that's a good angle.
Oh yeah, Aubrey Plaza was... Was... Did she do the voice of Grumpy Cat? Is that how she existed in the movie? Okay, I need to get over. You gotta let me over, dude. Fucking grandpa, let me over. Wait. Oh, come on. That was barely a crash. What the what? I can make it. I can make that. There we go. There we go. It's just food, you know? It's fine. It can be... It can go on a little bump. A little bumpy ride. Yeah, I don't get a ticket for that. I mean, they were right there. Laurel? I discovered Laurel. Anyone ever been to Laurel uh, wherever we are? I don't know what state we're in. Where am I? Is this Montana? You have been there? Is this accurate to what it looks like? It's by your junior college in Wyoming. Looks pretty nice. Pretty quaint. Not one to one, but it's decent. That's pretty much what they go for. When you get a Canadian truck simulator, probably when they're done with America, I would assume. It would not surprise me if once they've done all the states, they announce Canada truck. What's the worst state to drive through? Hmm. I don't know. There there were a lot I don't really remember what state was what, but there were a, there was a lot of nothing on on my drives that got pretty boring. Uh, there's state, states are so big. There's so much space between like cities and towns. Well, what do you want to do here, dude? I remember Idaho being very stinky. I'm sure the rest of Idaho isn't stinky, but uh, that's just how I think of it now. When I imagine Idaho, I just I think of smell. It's all the potatoes. Oh, dude, there it is. Canuck truck. Okay, we're moving again. Ooh, we're pretty close. 70 miles out. And then hopefully we can get a route down to Texas.
man, I'm I'm reinvested. I haven't chill trucked in so long. Do they have ro Alaska roads? No. I'm assuming they don't have Alaska roads. They might have to do. Yeah, I wonder how they're gonna. They might need to change American Truck Simulator into like North American Truck Simulator at some point and like add Canada. This is a way station? Riles be in. Thank you for the two months. Hey, Ian. Happy to see you driving safely on this here open road. I'm doing my best. I just don't want to get fined. I don't want to lose more money. I don't have much money as it is. And I want more trucks. You have to find the hidden portal to Alaska. Well, that's just how it works in the real world, too, so... They're not really almost done with the states. I can show you real quick. They're what? Nearing halfway-ish? Like, not based on number of states, but, you know, square footage. They get smaller as you go uh, east. Be very surprised if trucks went through Canada to get to Alaska. I mentioned shipping up there goes by boat. Well, they could do that too. They had uh, they had boats in Euro Truck. You you took freights to go from from some place to another place. Thanks, Bearbo. Welcome to the stream. Lovell? Where am I? This is a nice little town, though. Oh, this is a cool little street. Wish I could go in these stores. Lovell, Wyoming. Most towns in Wyoming are just a strip. That sounds about right. See a lot of these kinds of towns uh, driving through America. I like them. It's kind of cool having like a, a simple strip of stores. Everything's kind of one story. It's got a certain charm to it. Yeah, there's pedestrians. They uh, They hang out out of the way. I don't think they react to you at all, but they're there. There's hay on that truck, make a wish. Is that a thing? I haven't heard that that before. Do you make wishes on uh, trucks that are carrying hay bales? Shit, I gotta merge. I don't think you can hit the pedestrians. I think the pedestrians are placed in areas that you can't actually drive to. But I haven't checked in a while, to be fair. Interesting. I have never heard of making a wish on a hay bale truck, but I'm going to give it a shot next time I see one. What happens if you hit other trucks? Uh, your truck gets damaged, and then you have to pay for that shit. It's mostly money losses, but also if I wrecked my truck bad enough, I wouldn't be able to finish my route, so it's even more money loss.
do 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 I don't really like being behind uh, trucks carrying large objects. Did you ever say peanut butter while going over railroad tracks? No, I have not heard that either. Is that for good luck? I, um... I still touch the roof of my car when I go through yellow lights. I always touch the roof of my car. Uh, that's something. It wards off peanut butter trains. Interesting. Yeah, there was someone in my school that... Uh, I think he was two or three grades ahead of me, but he died like a log smashed, fell off a truck and like smashed through his windshield. So I really don't, <laughs> I really don't like being behind trucks that are carrying things that look like they could slide off. Uh, scares me. Yeah, the, the final destination death, yep. So, I mean, no no harm in just, like, slowing down or, you know, driving around somebody. Oh, I found Cody. I mentioned football. Am I a Seahawks fan? Yes. If so, how do you feel about the season? Uh, it's pretty awesome, honestly. Going a lot better than expected. I did not watch their game in Germany because I did not want to wake up early. Used to hold your breath, drove by a cemetery. I did that. Couldn't breathe again until you passed a white house with black shutters. I haven't heard that clause. I used to hold my breath uh, when we passed cemeteries though. Should I try and park it? Nah, I'm in a hurry now. Let's skip it. Isn't there some kind of soccer thing? Oh yeah, I, I know there's soccer happening now because of the, the endless commercials. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay. I'll ask for more, like, further distance. Hold your breath going over bridges. I do that not for like good luck, but it's I'm afraid of bridges. So, you know. This is kind of going to Texas. Okay, we're going to we're going to haul flour. Flower to Utah, I guess. I just want to go to Texas. Why is it so hard to go to Texas? I am from Texas. I reside in Washington, uh, but I am from Texas. I appreciate the question. It means that my, my drawl is not coming through. Ah. Apparently when I talk to my family, my uh my southern uh twang unearths. Okay, how do I get out of here? No, I love the uh, info facts on this drive. I don't know anything about this area, so anybody who does, it's always welcome to give us some, some interesting tidbits. Your accent comes back after two minutes of talking to your family. Yeah, it's weird. I don't hate it.
Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And we're off. Headed to Junction US something or another. Utah has a U in the name. I've driven through Utah, I'm pretty sure. I can't say that I have any other memories of it. No, bitch, no! Rude. How is Washington? Washington is nice. I really like the weather, for the most part. Um... I don't like how expensive it is. And that's my that's my review. <laughs> my review of Washington. It looks really cool. I li I like how green it is. I like how uh, hilly. And there's always there's always some trees to look at. You get four seasons. Yeah, good weather, bad prices pretty much. The Pacific Northwest area is really uh, pretty, but honestly, when I first when I first drove up here, when I first moved here, I I had never been. And when I drove and like passed the state line, I was very worried because uh, like Eastern Washington doesn't look anything like Western Washington does. And I was like, holy shit, where did I agree to move to? <laughs> But I do want to go to, uh, is it Spokane that's out east? Because that's where Cyan's offices are. And I'd love to, I don't think I'd ever go in, but I'd love to just pass by and be like, oh, look. They made mist. How do they differ? It just didn't look, it was like nothing. It was... You know, I expected a bunch of green and trees and like rolling hills and it was just like every like there was no change. I was still just kind of on the long American drive. I've not visited Leavenworth. Would I ever travel up north to Vancouver? I feel like I gotta. I feel like Vancouver's right there. At some point I have to go. Dusty, crusty. Nervous about work opportunities in Seattle. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about that. I th thought that we had work opportunities, but I've been, uh, you know, I'm out of the market for quite some time. Not understanding the game part? What do you mean? Of the game I'm playing? It's more of a simulator. I mean, I guess simulators are games, but... It's just supposed to simulate the trucking experience, which uh, I find quite relaxing. Just looks like your dad's job when you were a kid. I like it. I, I feel like this game is really... Uh, it's just cozy. I like hearing all the sounds of the truck, especially the turn signals. And I like seeing the environments change as you drive through them. And it's a good it's a good speed for me to engage with but still be able to talk. I get to talk a lot when I play this game, which I like. Cause some things I play, you know, like Nancy Drew or something, I'm more focused on the story and you know, I'm trying to get the game done. I used to play this like just for fun by myself before I started streaming it. I think I definitely prefer streaming it. Road trip simulator with wife 
in the passenger seat, kids fighting in the back. You could maybe do a mod for that. They got the sleeper cabin uh, trucks. want an RV with the living room. That'd be cool. I do, I mean, I like the idea that you're transporting cargo, but it would be cool to, like, have the exact same map, only you're in an RV and you're just kind of seeing the sights. Maybe you park it at uh, campgrounds. That would be fun. So I feel like the Twilight movie's got the mood of Washington right. Um, well, I've never been to Forks, but it is rainy. It, it can get pretty rainy. I think the, the, like the Pacific Northwest rain is a bit oversold. Like, yeah, it gets cloudy and rainy, but there's also a ton of nice weather. It's actually been really sunny lately. Yes, there's like a blue. When I step outside, it's like everything is blue and greenish. Oh, I need a nap. My guy needs a nap. Still quite a ways to go. It has not snowed. I've seen frost. Uh, it has not snowed. I typically expect the snow kind of like January, February. But who knows? I I've read that it was supposed to be extra cold and wet this year. Dream Burger. Looks like a BK to me. Snowed yesterday. I like the snow. Uh, it's probably just coming from Texas where I didn't get to see it super often. Speeding, are you kidding me? Uh, ooh, let's go to Mexican restaurant. Yeah, I wouldn't like, you know... You know, now in Texas, they've got the, the year where the grid went out because of all the cold. So they probably don't, <laughs> probably doesn't, it's probably not as fun uh, as it used to be. But I always like seeing it. Like shoveling snow. I don't love shoveling snow, but it doesn't seem like the end of the world. It's, it's still exciting to be out in snow. If it's gonna get cold, it might as well snow, you know, at least a little bit. Ragol Radio, thank you very much for subscribing. This is a recipe for bad. Uh, I really need to oh, take a nap. Wow. 23 Bever, thank you so much for the 10 months. Snow is great until you have to drive in it. That's true. If I had to drive, I would not like the snow. What the f wait a minute. Is there anyone behind me? I think I hit that car. Yeah, my truck is a Volvo. <laughs> oh, it's so scenic. Oh, that's a cop right there. He's just like, he's just observing. 
I've never seen one of these viewpoints. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to check it out. Great construction crew. Very seen. It looks like there's um, some type of traffic situation going down on the highway over there. This is cool. I gotta, I gotta pay attention and, and find more of these. Well, that was very nice. That was very scenic. Now, hopefully the cop doesn't... Oh! We're I'm trying to make it to Texas. We are not yet at Texas. But I'm trying to take jobs and make my way down there. We started in Seattle. And I really got a nap. Can you not just nap anywhere on the side of the road? Can you not just pull over and take a quick nap? I feel like that should be allowed. Picked up the DLC yesterday. You know, I don't even know when I got the DLC. I went to buy it and I already had it. So I must've just pre-purchased it. Came back and I was all through the road. I backed up so I could see a, a scenic spot. See a tapioca. Enjoy your wow dungeon. I feel like they should let me nap on the side of the road. I guess that would kind of break the game a little bit. You wouldn't have to find a space anywhere. They should let you nap on the side of the road, but like some of your cargo gets stolen or there should be, you know... Did I just enter a town called Shit Show? There's no way that that sign said Shit Show on it. Where am I? Riverton? Is that what I read? Is oh, Shoshone. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Can I sleep at the motel? Can I not sleep anywhere here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to shit show. <laughs> what have I been listening to? You know, I just started listening to music again. I, I haven't been listening to a ton of music. Uh, but I got, I got some new headphones. Some crazy, funky uh, headphones. Have you guys... Uh, heard of bone conduction headphones? Uh, I got a pair, and they're so weird, but really cool. I got them right here, actually. I'll try and drive them. They, they look like this, and they go, like, over... They go around your ear, but they leave your ear free to hear things. It, so it just kind of sounds like the music is in your head. Uh, and I got them to be more like, it, it, it's helping me focus because I can listen to music and I can get up and move to do things around the house, but the, what I'm listening to stays the same. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but, uh, it's helpful for me to, to have that. And I, I've been getting a lot more done, even just video editing, because I can have like a really light song playing in my head and still hear everything happening on my computer. Ooh, also I can play a little fuzzy tone and it like cancels out my tinnitus, which is pretty badass. My knock gate, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I got tonight. I've had tonight for like ever. 
They're called bone conduction headphones. The brand I have is Shox, but there's a lot of different ones. What kind of music? Um, I was listening to, I've been listening to a lot of oldies and uh, like Muzak, Stimulus Progression, I really like. Which is like jazzy. See ya, Alley Cat. Tinnitus is a. It's like a constant. Ooh, look, MJ's on a billboard. Uh, it's like a constant ringing in your ears. It's it's the result of like hearing damage. And so, I have. You know that kind of hum you get when you. When you turn on a TV and you can hear that high pitch kind of whine. It's like that. Uh, all the time. <laughs> Just, like, constantly. But I just, um, I just found out from, uh, it was Vinny Vinesauce, actually. He tweeted a video that was just this high-pitched, like a fuzzy, like a pshhh. And it's specifically tuned to help with tinnitus and it actually does it like masks it i can't i hear the shh but i don't hear the ringing Ooh, i can i can nap here did Vinny get his tinnitus from covid i'm not totally sure uh, mine was definitely just i really like loud music i like to <laughs> I like to blast my music, especially when I'm alone in the car, it's like, what's my, what's the loudest songs I have? Uh, I'll just turn it up. As loud as I can. So I would not recommend doing that, but you know, so it goes. Yeah, concerts. I'm sure people that go to concerts probably get them. I don't, I'm not a concert goer. But if I was, I would likely have it even worse. It's not too bad. Honestly, mine is not so bad. I just can't... I, I'm not really not good with complete silence. If, if the room is completely silent, I, I go a little crazy. I have to have a fan on or some music or like a TV playing or something. Just something to distract me. What did you walk in on? We were talking about tinnitus. I'm trying to not talk about food today. It's going all right. We're, we've had some different discussions. Food is always just lingering. It's just like right there, ready to be talked about. But, uh, you know. Don't you notice it until nighttime? Yeah, I typically don't focus on it unless it's it's really quiet. But I just don't. I don't let it get very quiet. What's the truck? Uh, the truck is uh, it's a Volvo of some sort. I don't know what it is exactly. It doesn't have the sleeper cabin. Ooh, you get vertigo? That doesn't sound fun. Don't, yeah, don't ask me my opinion of Papa Murphy's, even though I have one. <laughs> I have not seen the Weird Al movie, but I heard it was good. I'll probably check it out. I really loved UHF. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be like UHF, or maybe it is going to be like UHF. But I like Weird Al, so I, I should give it a shot. Headed to Rollins. 
Not as good as UHF, but still very funny. I'll check it out. I really don't know much about it. I, I've heard that it's good, but I haven't really heard plot lines or anything, so. Am I a big sports fan? I'm a sports fan. I don't know that I'd say I'm a big sports fan. But I enjoy a sport. Name every sport. Do I enjoy large sports? What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, the bigger the better. Honestly. You know what I saw that was oddly captivating? It was on Twitter. It was like a promoted post that uh, was just playing, and I actually ended up watching a little bit of it. It was drone racing, which... Doesn't sound super exciting to me, but it actually kind of was, it was pretty cool. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. What do you mean my threatening profile picture? I'm Santa. That's not welcoming to you? <laughs> uh, she, so MJ has... Uh, she's got... Uh, I don't know if you can see over there. She's got a bed over there now. So she's got a place to chill that's not right behind me, which is nice. She wanted to look outside. You are getting a lot of uh, MJ love lately. She's, she's really warmed up to my office, and uh, she likes to hang out. I guess I could just could just continue like this for a little while. When am I upgrading the sleeper cat? I, I literally just bought this truck, so um I guess whenever I can afford a new truck. cat <laughs> she sees something she might leave her bed she might move to the windowsill <laughs> listen I've road tripped with MJ before and she is not a helpful driver okay she's kind of a whiner actually Can I, like, have my brights on? No. <laughs> Just like her dad. Fair. Very fair. Okay, she's settling in. Is MJ vocal? She really is, honestly. She likes to have little conversations. And it's not just me making up what she's saying. She uh, she has a lot to say. She understands English uh, very well. Okay. That's all you get of MJ cam for now, because I gotta... I gotta sit normally, or... I'm gonna regret it. What's going on out there? What are you guys work? How's how's work going? What are you guys working on? Does MJ tell any jokes? Uh, you know, occasionally they're not very good though. She got great comedic timing, but her, like the actual jokes are are not well written. 
Math? I'm assembling a 3D printer piece. Oh. Ooh, new drawing? That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's Mighty Bob Barker. Thank you so much for the 37 months. Thank you, thank you. Are her jokes pun based or cynical stand up? She's they're really they're off color, you know? She's she really likes edgy humor and uh, she doesn't really understand where the line is, you know? So I wouldn't be able to release her like her stand up album. <laughs> yeah, MJ would get canceled if I let her uh if I let her her stand up air. <laughs> Man, dri driving at night actually, like, in the game makes me sleepy. I am sleepy now. Okay, I have gas, but maybe I should, maybe I should get gas just in case. Oh man, coffee would be so good. Let me see if anyone in the house is gonna make coffee. No. <laughs> get a bear claw that would be awesome honestly if i could just stop right now and get coffee and a donut i would get i'd get coffee and i would get a franz blueberry donut that's what i would get right now Ooh. Ooh, or maybe a maple bar i love maple bars what time is it it's only four here I am a little, I'm a little peckish because we're out of eggs. So instead of my usual eggs and toast, I just had the toast, which was good, but I sure did miss those eggs. Oh no, we're not on food. That's breakfast routine talk. Wasn't, wasn't food. That was breakfast routine. Wait till I get sleepy and then trick me into talking about donuts. Yeah, this is what you get now. I'm letting this one play. We're listening to this whole one. Yep. Merry Christmas. I actually don't know that I can listen to this full thing. You like this one? <laughs> I do not like this one. Better than Christmas shoes. I don't know the words to this song. I know Gloria. This is the eggshell song? What does that mean? Is it because it sounds like she's singing about eggshells? <laughs> In eggshells? <laughs> you know, lyrics are really just what you want them to be. I did not hear Bob Dylan's Christmas album. Can't say that I heard that one. It's nuts? How is it nuts? Are they like original songs? God, I'm 
I'm so afraid of getting a speeding ticket now. Weezer did a Christmas? I need to just get a rotation of like specific Christmas albums. Not modern ones, but you know, I gotta get the Backstreet Boys Christmas. He sings Frank Sinatra. Cosmo, you gotta link that to me. I'm gonna forget. I have the I think I've got the Beach Boys Christmas album. I think so cuz they got uh, Little Saint Nick on it, which I don't love. My Chemical Romance did a cover of All I Want for Christmas. That sounds good. Was it good? Interesting. What's my favorite Christmas song? That's a good idea or a good question. Um, what does it seem like my favorite Christmas song would be? I mean, aside from Christmas shoes. I mean, we already know that's that's my number one, but you can't top Christmas shoes. Mother Mother came out with two Christmas songs and one is sad. That sounds on brand for Mother Mother. I'll have to listen to those, though. Uh, I actually used to really like 12 Days of Christmas. I can't say that I'm in love with it anymore, but as a child, every Christmas we would sing carols around the piano before we opened gifts. And the last one was always 12 Days of Christmas. So uh, it, it pretty much signaled in the presents. Santa Buddy is a good one. Oh, yeah. Grandma got run over by a reindeer is pretty great. She fucking deserved it. <laughs> Yeah, kind of a Pavlovian response with uh, 12 Days of Christmas. My family also all, they had uh, hand signs. They had like poses you would do for each um, each day of Christmas, had their own little pose. And when I would play, because we'd s sit around the piano and I played piano. And so it was often my job to play 12 Days of Christmas. And I would just very subtly or very not so subtly play a lot faster uh, to make them all scramble. So that was fun. Dominic the Christmas Donkey I, is a song I really do not understand. I, I like to reference it, but I, I, I can't really comprehend it. I'm trying to think of my favorite Christmas song? It's a really good question. I don't know. I think of I think of Christmas songs as like, I think of them in one big lump, you know? I know they're individual songs, but I, I think of the genre as a whole a lot. We're currently hauling flour. Sleigh Ride's pretty good. Feliz Navidad is good. Least favorite Christmas song. Uh, it's definitely not Christmas Shoes, because Christmas Shoes is the best Christmas song.
Yeah, Charlie Brown Christmas music is, is pretty somber, but that's not all bad. Yeah, war is over. Someone, who mentioned that? Someone was mentioning how much they liked uh, John Lennon Christmas, but that, that one's, I don't want, I don't like that one. It was Cosmo, okay. <laughs> now my favorite. What's the one where, um... Is it Bing Crosby? That sings, ho, ho, ho. Uh, Hickory Dock, don't forget to hang up your sock. That one's not, you know, it's not exactly elegant. He'll be coming down the chimney down. <laughs> it's not, uh, you know. It's not Shakespeare. It's Andy Williams. That one's not my favorite either. Oh God, simply having a wonderful Christmas time, I also do not really care for. I can, I can listen to that once and be okay, but m more than once is too much. Favorite trash Christmas movie? Um, Gerbert? Gerbert Christmas? A very, very cool Christmas. I don't remember Jack Frost. I don't think I saw it. I think I saw the Santa Claus, like, two or three. Which was, was, which was the Santa Claus that had Jack Frost in it? Was that every Santa Claus, or was it just three? That was three. Okay, I saw that one. I don't think I saw any of the other Santa Claus movies, but I saw that one. How do you guys feel about Elf? Elf was definitely, like, growing up, definitely my favorite Christmas movie. It's got to be one of the, the top ones from my generation, right? But I know it's a little bit divisive. Don't like it? I like it. I don't think I would watch it every year, but I would tune back into Elf every once in a while. Paul Blart Mall Cop? Is that a Christmas movie? Did they make another elf movie? Didn't they make like a show or something like that? They made a they made an animated elf thing, I think. Oh, Home Alone. Dope. Home Alone's a great one. Haven't seen it in a while, um, but it's so violent. Which is awesome for Christmas. <laughs> I prefer Home Alone 1. I don't even really remember 2 very much. I know I've seen it a couple times, but Home Alone 1 is the one that I saw over and over again. How long have I been streaming? It's only been like an hour, right? I still haven't got to Texas. Oh. Well, it's, it's a little over an hour. I'm definitely gonna be streaming longer than I was planning on it, because I, I gotta get to Texas. I can't not make it to Texas. The Black Mirror Christmas special was... What was the Christmas Black Mirror? I don't think I remember that. 
I definitely watched all of Black Mirror, I thought. It was really messed up. Yeah, that sounds about right. I just, I'm trying to remember what, what was the, like, conflict? What was the... Oh! John Hamm in the cabin? I don't, I don't even 100% remember how that one went, but I remember it being pretty good. Isn't John Hamm who's, who won't shut up about the World Cup? He's playing Santa right now and World Cup commercials and just driving me insane. What's up, Blanket of Stars? No, I'm not excited for the World Cup. I don't I don't uh, like soccer. I don't have anything against soccer other than that it's terrible, but <laughs> you know. Captain Cacao, thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, it's harsh. Just not, not the sport for me. And I wish John Hamm would shut up about it a little bit. Did I play sports as a kid? I played a little bit of sports. I mostly played baseball uh, until we got to kid pitch and I was just terrified of getting hit because I was so, I was just so bony. I was just like a scrawny, lanky kid. Uh, and then I played, I remember playing basketball at the YMCA, but I hated it because they, they would make sure that everyone scored a goal, which resulted in them like passing the ball to me over and over again. And I had to like keep shooting and embarrassing myself. I did, I did track in high school once because my, my parents were like, I think it was high school. It was either high school or junior high. They forced me to do a sport. They were like, you have to play a sport for question mark reason. And a lot of my friends were doing track and they were just kind of like, yeah, it, you know, when you do track and field, you just kind of, it's kind of like hanging out. You just kind of all get to hang out. You get to go to track meets and hang out. And I was like, sure. Uh, so I did track and field and we did, I did one race and I was like halfway done when everyone else was finished and it was, uh, <laughs> humiliating. So I, I stopped doing track. <laughs> My race was, I think it was like a sprint. It was like, a it was some hundred yard dash or something something I should not have been doing something the coach should have been like you're too slow to do that but uh, nobody, nobody stopped me yeah pretty much embarrassed by every sport uh, I'm just not I, I like to watch but I'm not really uh, you know I am not a sport have done the jumps. I can't jump. I can't jump. I can't run. Okay, I'm going to park this one. Okay. Should be doable. Oh, hockey would be terrible. You know, I did do... I played... You know, I, I did some, like, golf lessons. And I also did tennis lessons. I didn't have to like play competitively. I just kind of got to learn the sport. I thought those were pretty fun. I still like golf. I just have not been in, in forever.
Oh, I did it. I did it. Thanks, ghost Pokemon. Welcome to Twitch. Aren't you tall? Tall people play sports. I am tall. And that's why I was in uh, YMCA basketball. I distinctly remember uh, one time in YMCA basketball where someone inbounded the ball to me and I immediately ran to the wrong goal and shot at it. Luckily, I was so terrible that I missed, but I did shoot at like the wrong goal once. Why are we asking all these questions that are gonna humiliate me? Yes, I've tried a climbing wall before and I was the only one in class that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I went like two things up and I just, I didn't have the upper body strength for it. Would you like to know if I humiliated myself in any other, uh, <laughs> any other sports? Oh, we're going at, to Abilene. No rock climbing, no dancing. We played kickball a little bit. I preferred dodgeball. I liked playing dodgeball a lot. I liked games like PE games. Um, just not like sports where it mattered and people cared if you did, if you did good or bad. What? Where did it go? Oh, wait, there it is. I already accepted it. No boxing, none of that. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm, I've told you guys this. The, the My last semester of college, I took walking class because I needed half a credit and walking class was half a credit. And it was it was combined with running class. And everyone was in, in our big group, I wanna say it was like 20, 25 people. Two of us were in walking class. So everybody else had to constantly be running. But me and this other person just had basically just walked. <laughs> Where did we walk? We just walked laps. Walked or run, ran laps. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know how that was offered as a course. I did. I got... I don't think it was a, a pass... It was a pass-fail. So I passed walking class. I don't think I got an A, but I would have if they were handing them out. What do you mean red light violation? I'm turning right. If you run in walking class, do you get an F? They actually, he encouraged us to run. He said, everybody else has to run, but you guys, you know, you just should run. And I never did. I never, not even once. I was always walking. Lazy PE. Yeah, we did, I did uh, easy PE. We called it easy PE. They offered it twice while I was in high school and you needed two uh, you needed two credits and I just happened to, to get in and do easy PE for mine we just played you know dodgeball kickball uh, four square I fucking loved four square Yeah, four squares dope. Okay, that one I deserved. That one I deserved, but I'm still just gonna do it. I think flag football would be fun. I just don't, I don't have the stamina. I would have to actually exercise before I did any, any type of sport. Uh, I would play golf. You don't have to exercise to play golf. I can just go play golf. 
Oh, dude, I used to love Capture the Flag. We would do, we would play Capture the Flag when we would do like scouting uh, campouts. We'd always play a huge game of Capture the Flag. A DDR athlete, yeah. If that counts as a sport, I was pretty good at DDR. Took up hiking. I'm I walk. I like to go on walks, but that's not really a sport or I mean it's kind of exercise, but not really. I guess I'm just putting my walking class to use. All that walking class knowledge, now I just go on walks. Only counts as a sport if you embarrassed yourself. I'm sure I've embarrassed myself walking before, like surely. Did country line dancing at one point in PE? Line dancing is fun. It gets you moving. Maybe not a lot moving, but a little moving. Climbing trees. Climbing trees is too high off the ground. I want to stay on the ground. I don't even really like to jump, you know? Both feet leave the ground. What if they don't ever come back? What if you just keep going? It just seems risky to jump. I've got a VHS tape. We should watch it sometime. It's a great exercise routine um, that you do completely sitting. It's a bunch of old people doing it, but you know, it's it's a great, uh, anybody can do it. I do still ride my one wheel. I haven't been in a little bit. Uh, it's been cold and I was, I was unfortunately just busy with move stuff when the weather was good but I'm hoping once the weather gets good again I'll go out and ride more okay it's only going to take me a thousand miles to get to Texas shouldn't be too long exercise tape reviews I only just I only have the one I think it would pair great with the Branson Missouri tape that I have because it's I've seen it before and it's all kind of like what you can do if you're an old person in Branson Missouri Dude, Beat Saber is fun. I, in in uh, my last house, I was using Beat Saber to exercise, and I just I didn't stick with it. But I really should, because you get you get some good exercise, and it is also a lot of fun. You have family in Branson? Maybe they're on the tape. You'll have to be sure to be here when I watch my Branson tape. Barbie workout VHS. I could get some uh, sweat into the oldies. Those are classic. Are we watching the Pittsburgh tape? Maybe. It's still over here. I, I have all the fan mail over here still because I haven't labeled it yet. It's just sitting there waiting for me to label it. Green, 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 green. Oh, this is nice. I don't know where we are, but it's nice. Where are we? VHS cataloging stream? Probably not. Um, I've done that a couple times already. If you go to my VOD archive... Oh, we just left Salt Lake City. Uh, if you go to my VOD archive and look for my shelf organizing streams, I pretty much go through all of my tapes. And I haven't made a ton of additions since then, really. But my VHS shelves aren't in my office anymore. They're outside the office, so probably not another one.
Provo discovered. Oh, that's a red light. I think I'm gonna sleep and get gas at this rest stop up here. And hopefully that will get me to Texas. I think it should. Favorite weird tape? I mean, my favorite tape currently is the one we watched, the the cartoon All-Stars Don't Do Drugs tape. Uh, really just it was very impressive. Drivers on this road IRL are insane. They need to have like accurate traffic mods. I guess someone said that you could turn the, the traffic up with a mod. Oops. What's up, Carl? Have I been convinced not to do drugs? I don't know. I don't think so. Trucking's going all right. Oop, did I just sleep again? Well, shit. I got a lot of rest, but I'm going to be way behind on my delivery. I just took two naps. Okay. Hopefully this is my last fuel up. They need to add like a storyline to these games. They got to They got to give me like NPCs to go meet and talk to and they're like, "Oh, you need to take this shit up to Washington. I got all this flour I got to get rid of." What would the story... The story would be people needing to transport things to other places. <laughs> but instead of just... You know... Instead of getting it from, like, a list of jobs, you get it from people. What's up, Roxors? Flower or flower? It could be either. It could be both. Flower and flowers. I'm getting too chill. Man, the sun is already going down outside. It's going to put me to sleep. Tour of the stream room. I could do that. I'd need to set it up so I could uh, move my camera around. There's, I mean, really what you see is uh, what you get. There's not much more uh, to it. Pitch black in 6.30 in Texas. Yeah, I don't, I don't love it. How's MJ doing? Oh, she's just asleep. She's just asleep in her bed. Ignoring me. Two naps means twice the driving. I don't think that's gonna work out. I just wanna make it to Texas, man. If I gotta get there while I'm falling asleep, then so be it. Damn, you got a foot of snow? That's too much snow. I mean, I want snow, I like snow, but I don't need that much snow. When you get tired in this game, your guy starts yawning, 
And then if you don't go to sleep, uh, he'll occasionally just pass out <laughs> at the wheel. And then you'll wake up, you know, wherever your truck ended up. He'll just kind of drive forward and smash into whatever <laughs> is in front of you. It's been snowing for three days straight. That's crazy. It's not time for snow yet. Can I just eat caffeine pills? I gotta get my gamer gum. I gotta get my caffeine gamer gum and chew that on the road. Mm -hmm. Pass this one. Gothic Novella, thank you very much for the 51 months. My car is currently under five feet of snow. Holy shit. I sure hope you don't have to go anywhere. How long is that supposed to last? How long is the snow supposed to last? Where in the country is it snowing? Or is it out of the country? Where in the world is it snowing? Oh, you know what? I did see a video of the Buffalo Bills stadium. Lots of snow. Minnesota. Wisconsin. Interesting. Well, I could go for a little bit of snow, but not that much snow. I would love for it to fall, but not stick. To go to work on Monday. Jeez. Oh man, I still remember being in New York and there being like a huge snowstorm blizzard that rolled in. It was nuts. Oh, wow. Frankie Fur. Thank you so much for the six months. Hi, Moose. Thanks for the great content. Hey, Tanner420. Thanks, Frankie. Well, I'm assuming the places that get a lot of snow, I'm assuming you don't love snow. I mean, much more understandable if you see it all the time. I, I feel like the magic is probably uh, not as magical. Timp X, what? Thank you for subscribing. Stops being magical in January. I could see that. Because, like, anything over maybe a week of snow would be... Uh, that would over overstay its welcome for me, I think. I could get snowed in for a little bit. I mean... Unique situation because I work from home. But I could get snowed in for a week and, and be fine with it. If I had to go do stuff, I wouldn't like it like it at all. If I had to drive places, I wouldn't want snow anywhere. What up, Dragon? How do you feel about snow? Do you love snow? Do you hate snow? Love snow. That's how I feel about it. I love snow, but I could see... It's very clear how it could be unloved. Yeah, scraping the windshield sucks. Did I ever build a snowman? I sure did. I remember building a snowman in, in Texas growing up on one of the years where it actually snowed. But there was so little snow that you had to, like, source snow from other people's yard. We kind of, like, combined our snow to build a snowman, but 
by rolling the snow such great distance, <laughs> the uh, snow was very dirty. It was a very dirty <laughs> snowman. But, you know, it was a snowman. I don't remember many forts or snow battles. I don't remember enough snow uh, for that to be a, a possibility. Ever try yellow snow? We're not talking about food this stream, so we can't talk about yellow snow. Never seen snow before. See, well, that's exciting. Because that's something you could you can go see. New experience to look forward to. Go. I need to upgrade my truck. I need, like, a better engine. How are you finding the Texas DLC? I haven't made it yet. We're on our way currently to Texas. Ever been sledding? We had like a little hill outside the the house that when it did snow, we would slide down a like a cookie sheet. We'd sit on a cookie sheet and uh, slide down it, but that's about it. I went skiing once and I did not like it at all. Too cold. Yeah, no garbage lid. We didn't have like a cartoony sized garbage bin that I remember. Snowboarding could be interesting. I just... My feet and hands get so cold anyway, just surrounded by that when you're out in the snow. It's just not a good... It's not a good place for me to be. I should be appreciating the snow from the inside. I can just sit inside, have some hot chocolate, play some ski free. You know, that's the way to appreciate the snow. It snows up here, yeah, it does. I can make fake snow? I could. Shit, my, my controller's vibrating really weird. Like the... I don't think my uh, flower likes how I'm driving. Mm. Whew. I need a nap now. Hit me with a new uh, topic. I'm done with snow. No more snow. Where am I taking you? I'm taking you to Texas. We're going to, uh, I forget where in Texas. Theme parks. I like theme parks. There's no theme parks around here, though. New Pokemon game. I'm not. I'm not a Poke uh, Pokemoner. I'm not a Pokeman, so I don't. I don't have a Pokey opinion. I've been to Wild Waves. I haven't been to Wild Waves. I went to. I lived near Hurricane Harbor, growing up, and I there was also one called NRH2O, that I remember going to. Favorite theme park had to be Six Flags. I was very close to Six Flags over Texas. And I still still has my favorite roller coaster, which is the Titan. And I need to go on it again. I did not finish the new Sonic game, no. I played a little bit yesterday, but I didn't want to play <laughs> I didn't want to play more. Oh man, they got six that makes sense. 
That makes they gotta have Six Flags over Texas in this game. They gotta have that. I would be shocked if they didn't have Hurricane Harbor and uh, the Rangers and the Cowboys Stadium. They're all in that in that same place. I've been to, to a Ren Fair. I went to a Ren Fair in high school once. We are like my whole class went. I remember it being pretty awesome. We also went to Medieval Times once, and I really I really enjoyed that. Rest area left lane? I don't need rest. Oh, wait, I discovered a new viewpoint. Did I pass it? I gotta get the viewpoint. Oh, there it is. Ba -da 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 -da. Dude, I would go to Medieval Times now. I don't know if they have them up here, but... I remember it being a ton of fun. Okay, get ready. Hole, the hole in the rock landmark. That turn gave you anxiety. It was a, it was a great turn. Hole in the rock. Where's the hole? Uh, hole in the rock. Hole in the rock. Show me the hole. Are we sure there's a hole in the rock? Ooh, I love that. I love the cactus tree. It's a gift shop. Is there a hole in the rock or is it just the just the name? Kind of like a hole in the wall. Oh. Hole. Excuse me. Excuse me. Very smooth, Ian. Very smooth. The gift shop has rock walls. It's a cave they turned into a tourist trap. Okay. So the gift shop... The gift shop is the hole in the rock. Interesting. It'd be fun to go just kind of drive around and visit a bunch of tourist traps. The only really tourist trap that I can remember going to was, uh, I went to, is it the mystery spot in California? That place was badass. I'm trying to think of any other that I did, but that's, that's the only thing I can think of. Near Santa Cruz? Yeah, that place was cool. See ya, garlic.
I have not taken a Vegas vacation, but it is very high on my uh, list of places I want to go. I really want to go to Vegas. And yes, it's so I can gamble. But very excited for it. Someday. How was it, Creeper? What'd you do? What'd you do in Vegas? Because I want to gamble. I know the food is good. And I'm assuming I would probably want to see a show. Because they... I know that they have shows. Ooh, Penn and Teller would be cool. Go... Is Carrot Top still performing there? I could go see, <laughs> go see Carrot Top. What's Omega Mart? Omega Mart? <laughs> okay, it's 55 minutes. I don't know what it is. It's an interactive art experience? What are are we all talking about the same thing? Omega Mart? Is it a store? Fake, gr oh, actually this is starting to sound familiar. Is this a s store that you pay to go in and look at weird stuff? Okay, I think I've heard of this before. It has a story. to the Alamo. I've been to the Alamo. Well, I'll think about Omega Mart when I eventually go to Vegas one of these years. YouTube with fake commercials and training videos. I'm going to have to look into it just because I want to know what you guys are talking about because I really have no clue. Make sure to wear long sleeves and pants. Well, I always wear pants. What are you guys doing? Give me an update. Who's doing what? Playing RuneScape? Jelly. What are you doing in RuneScape? I really need to do more quests. I need to do more quest lines in RuneScape. Eating? Oh my god, we can't talk about that. Where's the way station? Is this the way station? Ooh, fire in the fireplace sounds nice. You're getting a pirate outfit? That sounds badass. Is that for a special occasion or just for any occasion? Playing with your cat, solving a puzzle, working on a presentation. Sounds like some productive things are happening while I'm 
I'm just driving to te <laughs> I'm driving to Texas. Dab and chill. Pooping. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. It's an important uh, human function. Lawn mower simulator? I haven't heard of or played that one. Oh, that's cool. Pirate jewelry con traveling convention booth. Sounds exciting. I'm going to go to a convention again one of these days. Maybe. Fill the fridge! I was addicted to fill the fridge for a little bit. You're making dinner. I'd ask what dinner, uh, what's for dinner, but I'm not allowed to. Fill the Fridge is a, it's a mobile game where all you do is fill a fridge. It, you just, they give you objects and an empty fridge and you fill the fridge with the objects and then you move on to the next level. It's pretty fun. I've not played Cooking Mama now. It wasn't the cooking mom the most recent cooking mama like a fiasco I think I've driven this road before this one looks familiar like in the game not in my real life had copyright issues? Yeah. I feel like I remember that the people that made it apparently didn't have the rights or something like that. Something weird. Who should I stream Garfield Lasagna Party with? I'm assuming it's a four player game, right? I can't just be alone playing Garfield Lasagna Party. Mmm, what a hamburger. Stealing people's information. Oh, was yeah, was uh, was was Cooking Mama the one with the crypto mining app built in? That does sound familiar. Hames Jaloran. Thank you for the three months. Hey Moose, been watching your content for a little over a year now. Love your mystery tapes videos and the way you always seem to make me laugh. Keep up the good work. Plop. Thank you very much, Hames. Alone playing Garfield lasagna party is a sad night. <laughs> Maybe I should do it that, that way then. It sounds funnier. That's true. I could I could force some friends to, to lasagna party with me. They'd do it or they wouldn't be my friend anymore. I feel like that's pretty motivating. I think I'm gonna have to take another nap. I should probably do it now. It's probably better to do it. Red light, zoom. Oh, is this? Is this the place? What do you mean illegal? Wasn't mining crypto just badly made? Yeah, I, I don't I didn't follow that situation very closely, but I do remember seeing like bits and pieces. You can do anything you want on the road as long as nobody sees you. 
right? Oh, has it been three hours? Nah, nah. It's been like two, two, two twenty. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Where am I now? That's a good question. I am... Is that Colorado? I accidentally... Yeah, I'm in Colorado, headed to New Mexico. This might actually have been one of the ways I drove out. Because, I mean, I left from Fort Worth and definitely cut through New Mexico one of the ways. I might have gone this way. I might have gone through Amarillo and then uh, up through Pueblo. I think I cut through Colorado Springs, but I don't 100% remember. I just have a controller for, for how I'm uh, controlling. I did hear about, uh, is it Yuji Naka getting uh, arrested for insider trading? That's a, uh, that one was not on my bingo card, so to speak. Uh, we're not in Texas yet, Alley Cat. We're in Colorado. Any word on the next Nance game? Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, we'll play it whenever I kind of feel like it. I, I'm trying to do other stuff. But I do love playing Nance. So I, I, I assure you it's only a matter of time. I had a steering wheel for this game once, but it was it was actually a, a farming simulator steering wheel, and so it was like really tiny, and uh, I didn't really like using the pedals. I like to sit cross-legged while I'm at my desk, which isn't great for my body, really, but it also makes it hard to do pedals. I don't remember which Nancy Drew is next. I don't even remember which Nancy Drew I, was the last one I did. What, what was the last one I did? Highway hypnosis. Can you get a truck with a sky roof or a skylight? I'd love to be able to see the stars. Shadow Ranch? Okay, Message in a Haunted Mansion is the last one I did. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure what... Uh, what's after that. Albuquerque. Fucking asshole. Shadow Ranch, Treasure in the Royal Tower is next. 
I don't know that I have that one. I might need to double check to make sure I have that one, actually. Has this game been updated recently? Yeah, the uh, the Texas DLC just came out uh, pretty recently, I think. Yeah, I'm playing the Nancy Drew games in order so I get all the lore that I totally remember. You know, my brain, it's like a vault. All the Nancy Drew facts, all the characters locked away, ready to remember them. Uh, I definitely remember the guy's name. Uh, oh, I do. Rick Arlen. I remember Rick Arlen's name. And I'm assuming that's the most important thing uh, for me to know. Yeah, there he is. I'm assuming he's gonna, you know, play a major role in the games going forward. It's pitch black. 5 p.m. Pitch black. Who was Brady Armstrong? I, I, sounds very familiar. Did they just run into each other? Come on, come on. Didn't care for Scarlet Hand. We're going to play some bad ones, I'm sure. I still haven't decided if I'm going to replay Alibi and Ashes. I remember really disliking that one. I think it was the first one that I actually played. Oh, did Alibi and Ashes not get archived? I might have to replay it. Brady was the guy in the theater that was going to be demolished. Was that... Uh, is that the museum one the museum theater thing or was it the final scene theater we've been in a number of theaters it feels like final stage final scene yeah see I remember all this I know it sounds like I'm uh don't know what you're talking about, but I definitely remember all of this. Yeah, Steel Trap Ian, that's what they call me. I got those Nancy Drew hidden object games to play too. I think it's two different ones. I will uh I'll mentally bump Nancy up in the list. I want to do another episode at some point too cuz I wasn't really satisfied with the one that we played. Just the story wasn't amazing. Uh but I don't know when I'm going to do that. The episodes uh Episode takes a lot out of me. <laughs> yeah, the last episode did kind of feel like it was written by a bot. It, it didn't feel... It just wasn't good. It was fun, but, you know, it could have been way more fun if the story was better. You can't call it School of Secrets and then have no secrets in it. Like, I just don't think that's good writing. Ooh, Christmas episode might be a good idea. They have a lot of Christmas-themed episodes to choose from. Yeah, what was the secret again? I have no idea. I think my jazz stopped. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, 
You like the purple? I don't, I'm not in love with the purple. I should have changed it before I bought it, but I didn't. I would, I would prefer it to be like black, maybe red or uh, an orange, like a dark orange. The principal killed the teacher. Was that a was that a secret? I guess it was a secret. Wasn't the secret that one of the students was also two students? I don't think so, but maybe. <laughs> uh, I don't recall that, but that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. Christmas themed episode could be kind of fun. I'll look into that. Oof. It's so night. I wish it was less night. Thoughts on sequel to a Christmas story? We we vaguely touched on it earlier. I don't, I don't think I have any thoughts. I'm not gonna see it. Um, it's an interesting. Well, I was gonna say it's an interesting idea, but it's not. <laughs> it's not really an interesting idea. Uh, you know, nothing. There's nothing ever dies. There's only so many IPs you know, around the world. And there's only so many competitive Christmas IPs. And A Christmas Story is one of those things. So why not make another one? It's not the first sequel. They had another Chris they had another Christmas story? Is this the third Christmas story? How many Santa Claus movies did they have? Was there a I we men, I mentioned the third one. Did they did they do more? Third was the last. Are those movies any good? Maybe I should watch the Christmas or the the Santa Claus movies. Those those could be interesting to share an opinion on. They made another one? Santa Claus series on Disney Plus. <laughs> well, I gotta tune into that. Is there any show that you like watch around? Like any show that rings Christmas to you? The first thing that comes to my head is The Office, actually, because they, they always do a Christmas episode. Wait, Tim Allen is actually in the Santa Claus Disney Plus series? Trailer Park Boys? I actually can't... What, what do they do in the Christmas episode? I've seen all the Trailer Park Boys. I don't, I don't quite remember what the Christmas one is. I actually think that when I honk, I think people stop. And I think that's why when I honk at people, they fucking brake check me. Futurama. Man, I'm not super into Futurama. I used to like it, but for some reason, I just don't want to watch it anymore. Oh, I saw Texas size something. Are we in Texas now? It's an interesting building.
Rift Tracks Reefer Madness. Why why for Christmas? Does that take does Reefer Madness take place on Christmas? I've seen Rift Tracks do uh, Reefer Madness. I don't remember anything Christmassy, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Not at all. <laughs> You know, trees. Uh, trees are Christmas on brand for Christmas. Uh, shit. Excuse me. There we go. Wait, there's a photo op on the turnpike? This is legit one of my least favorite things about driving in Texas. I hate these turnpike. I, I hate going up on these things. I hate going under these things. Do not like... Is not normal everywhere? I don't think so. I don't really see turnpikes like this up here. And I mean, in Texas, they were just everywhere, I feel like. You've never seen one like that? Yeah, there. that's pretty standard for Texas. They freaked you out. It's fine until you got to go up way high or go under uh, a bunch of bridges all at once. Just not not my uh, not my thing. I think it's the first one we've seen all day today. One day society will have no roads. Is that like a flying car prediction? Or like a train, expanded train network prediction? Well, if we all die, the roads are still gonna be there. I mean, the roads aren't just gonna like disappear. Everything will be paved. Just pave over it all. Dude, that sucks. I hate traffic. Sitting in traffic. Uh, I'm sure nobody loves it, but it's uh, maddening. I would much rather drive a, a longer route with less traffic than sit in traffic. Oh, fuck. Am I in Texas yet? Gotta be one freak who loves traffic. Is there though? What's to what's to like? I don't think there's anything to like about being stuck in traffic. Am I a fan of Mike Flanagan's work? Uh, list off some of his stuff. His name sounds familiar, so maybe. But I I need he did did he do um. Oh, what the fuck was that? 
uh, night, not, uh, mm, the vampire show. Uh, the fuck was that thing called? Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, I liked... I really liked Haunting of Hill House. I thought Bly Manor was not very good, but I did also like Midnight Mass. Am I going to drive through the Haynesville woods? I have no idea. I'm just following... Uh, I'm just following the GPS. <laughs> We're almost in Texas. Midnight Mass was pretty good. Should have watched that, honestly. In October, I should have rewatched it. That would have been a good spooky show to watch. Creeping up on Santa Rosa. Man, am I going to make it to Fort Worth? I'm going to Abilene. I might drive over to Fort Worth, or I might just call it. Is Texas real? Um, you know, it's as real as you want it to be, I think. Abilene, that's where your uncle lives. You should have him uh, see if he can notice us drive by. Do I need a nap again? How much sleep do I need? I'm not sleeping. Used to make this exact drive regularly. How accurate is it? Man, it really feels like I should take a nap there, but um, I'm just gonna keep going for now. Nap at their uncle's house. Yeah, call your uncle and ask if I can swing by for a nap. What's the Abilene paradox? Does that have anything to do with Abilene, Texas? Leftover lime, I'm definitely a coffee person. I don't I don't love tea. I like southern sweet tea, which is just sugar water, but outside of that, definitely coffee. That didn't count as food talk? I don't think that counts as food talk. Drink talk. Uh, you know, it just depends. That's me. I did the Hungry Man dinner reviews. It's true. That will be... Um, that's my greatest. That's what I'll be known for forever, is eating frozen food. Coffee counts as food, so does vodka. I don't know. Mm, what the Abilene hamburger. Paradox is a sort of illustrative story about four people, none of whom want to go to Abilene, Texas. They end up going to Abilene because they all think, oh shit, it's okay, I didn't hit the cop. They all think everyone else wants to go to Abilene. Interesting. I've never heard of that before. I think the Kid Cuisine video has the most views. I think so too. That's a frozen meal though, right? Sir Sloth. Thanks for the four months. Good evening, Brew Moo. 
No better background noise than a chilled trucking stream. You're tuned in just in time. Kid Cuisine is a mascot. Happen to not talking about food. It's just, it's inevitable. Is it, is it talking about food if we're talking about food videos? Or... Is that, is that a different category? I'm always going to be the, when did I start playing Saints Row 3? I thought I was playing Nightmare House after briefly falling asleep on stream. Was that, was that, uh, one of my really early, uh, uh, I had a, I had some drunk streams way back when, like way, way back when. I remember falling on, I remember falling asleep on stream playing Sonic something. I think I got home from a bar and was like, I'm gonna stream. And then I like turned it on and then immediately fell asleep. Man, that's forever ago. That's like, uh, that's like face punch days. Oh, it's probably good that it's not archived. Heading to work, burglars are too. Yeah, I used to punch my face on, on stream. There was a Reddit thread at, at one point on my subreddit and people were... I think the thread was about what what the worst one of my videos was and it, it seemed to be agreed upon that the ranch video was <laughs> was not very good it's not one of my favorites either to be honest do you like the ranch one I'd have BRB videos and I'd made a trivia one about the drunk stream. Oh, you know what? I remember doing the, like the BRB trivia videos. Damn. That was so long ago. That was an insane amount of time ago. Unlocking memories over here. Okay, well I did I did like the the damn Jackie. That was probably my favorite bit of the ranch video. Do we feel yeah, I feel old. <laughs> I definitely feel old now. Pajama Sam Rave. It's that sounds so familiar. It sounds so familiar, but I can't recall what exactly it was. Oh, fuck. That's pretty much exactly what you don't want to do. I got distracted. People taking me down memory lane. Stoudman, thank you for the six months. Holy poop. I play this game to relax. How's it going? It's going pretty well. Think we're in Texas now? Maybe? Oh, 
Oh, almost. Dude, it's just so, it's so weird that, I feel like it's less weird that I've been making YouTube videos for so long, but it, it's weird that, it's weird to have people that stuck around for like the whole thing. You know, I'm used to like, you know, people come and go, interests change, uh, but it's pretty crazy to have people that remember that far back, like stuff I don't even remember anymore. Do I need a nap? I think I can make it without the nap. So Zeolotron. A classic. Surprised that that one got to stay up, but uh, Lula 3D did not. It's fun to hear stuff like this. Like it, it definitely gets me re, re inspired. Man, you do the. I think some people are good at doing the same thing for a really long time, but I definitely get like antsy. Like, you know, I've been I've been doing YouTube for ten years at this point, so it's it's never a bad time to get re inspired. If you'd like to watch the Lula 3D video, you can actually find it on my website. If you go to videos and then Brutal Moose and find it in whatever, wherever it is on the list, uh, you can actually watch it there. Rain of Blood. Thank you for the two months. I'm here from your Chival Chivalry 2 video way back. Did I do a, I did a, must have done a lightning round of chivalry. I remember when chival, chivalry was real big. You know you're an old YouTuber when you have a website. Listen. Websites are timeless, okay? Kids love websites. Oh my god, the hidden hidden block logo. Dude, hidden block was good times. One of these days I gotta get myself back into something like that. I need to have like a, a little network of frequent collaborators, you know? I just got, I'll just name, I'll, I'll come up with a name for a group and I'll just force Luke and Chad to join. I'll just be like, you are a part of this group whether you like it or not. <laughs> My hype house era. <laughs> I'm gonna form a group and I'm also gonna force them all to move over here with me. I don't think I'd ever do something as big as, like, Hidden Block was, like, s as organized. But, you know, it'd be fun to, have, fun to have a little group. I thought about doing Danger Squad again recently. Because that was a good way to kind of work, collab with people, but on our own schedule. Uh, and that was fun. Stab me! Thank you for the Prime Sub. Danger Squad was pretty fun. I think I just stopped wanting to... It was a lot to manage. Oh, I'm in Lubbock. 
I know Lubbock. I should think up another event, kind of like Danger Squad, where I could rope my friends into participating. Maybe that's how I do it. I say, hey, it's a game. Tony Hawk Ride. Tony Hawk Ride was a pretty good video. I still have that board. I still got Tony Hawk Ride. wonder how, like, a engine malfunction. It's because I slammed into that uh, concrete post. Dude, Austin and I talk about collabing uh, fairly often. It just hasn't happened lately. Did I say this already or, or did I just think it? I wonder how like a traditional game review video would do if I, if I just did one. Cause I know what's big right now are like topic long form uh, game review stuff. I don't think I want to do that. But I wonder if I just did a normal, I don't even know what I would talk about. It wouldn't have to be a newer game, no. miss the old style of game review videos and let's plays isn't that kind of what I, I don't really i don't uh keep up with game youtube but i always got the impression that that's kind of what scott the waz did i thought he kind of was doing the old school style Long form stuff can be exhausting to keep up with. Yeah, you know, there, there's some videos that I, I will watch like an hour, two hour video on, like some topics. I don't know that games are one of those topics. Unless it's like an interview or something like that, I probably wouldn't make it super long. Scott, PBG, and Ant Dude. I could give another shot someday. I don't know. I just don't know what I would talk about. Maybe I'll try that in January. Because I feel like I got my plans laid out for this month and the next, but... Maybe I'll think on it. Yeah, Caddy is a madman. His videos are insane. He's always been a madman, though. He's just He can get that work done. Arcade video for sure. For sure. I actually have the next arcade picked out. I just got to do the mall video first and then make sure I'm on top of Christmas stuff. But yeah, I guess I guess the arcade videos are as close as I get to the, the gamer videos right now. Pajama Sam? I, I already talked about I guess there's one more Pajama Sam. I probably won't do another Pajama Sam. I think I'll, I think I'll keep Sam to just Twitch streaming now. That cop didn't see anything. He didn't see nothing. Oh my god, I'm approaching four hours. 
I was going to do two hours. My plan was to do two hours. Uh, that's not how it shook out. But I did make it to Texas. Uh, I don't know. I feel... I mean, maybe I'm not, but I feel maybe too old to to be talking humongous entertainment edutainment. I mean, I know it's nostalgic. But I think I feel like I might want to try something else. Can I nap here? It's true. I make Gerbert videos. That's true. I'll think about it. Um, currently not cooking any brutal foods. I wanted to sleep. I didn't want to look at the scene. But they're, uh, you know, they're an inevitability. They're not going anywhere. I'll consider Pajama Sam. Uh, the answer is no, but I'll also consider it. Uncle Nick is not for kids. Uncle Nick is a show for adults. I do think a Shinmu video would be cool. I feel like it would be really long, though, and I don't know that I want to make a really long gaming video, but I don't know. Maybe I do. Now, I'm not still working on big video. Big video is, uh... Eh. I don't know. I, I tell myself that I'll go back to the big video idea, but I don't know that I will. Once I'm sure that I won't, I'll just say what it was. It's not anything special. Um, it was at the time, but not anymore. Yeah, I just got burnt out. I worked on it for like, I worked so hard for like months and months and I got not even like halfway done. And now it's like, it's been so long that if I, if I want to do it again, I'm probably gonna have to rewrite the whole thing. Eh. We'll see. I could go about, like, maybe if I assembled it differently, like, maybe if I didn't write the whole thing in one, maybe if I broke it down into parts to make, that would have made it easier. It probably would have. We'll see. Do a video about the big video. That might honestly be more interesting. Yeah, I do all my uh, all of my own editing. I do everything, uh, which is you know, it's cool. It's not always uh, time um, efficient. Dude, we finally got to Texas and it's so dark I can't see shit. I've tried to get help on videos before, but I think I'm just too I'm a, I'm a big like micromanager when it comes to most things. Uh And like I don't want to work with anybody that's you know not not my friend and I you know, I don't want to ruin friendships because I'm <laughs> frustrating to work for, you know? You know, the stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. They don't look that big. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
They're not any bigger or brighter than anywhere else that I've seen. Fucking go then! My driving's getting sloppy as the night wears on. He's not stopping. Okay. Only an hour and a half to go. Not real time. That's pretty close. Oh, shit. How did you feel about that ad, Luke Land? Do you, does it make you want to try Chester Cheetah's mac and cheese? We're in, we are in Texas, Mo. We have, we have made it to Texas. I'm very close to, to delivering whatever the, is it flour? What am I carrying right now? Soda ash, which I definitely know what it is. I'm going to go deliver it here in a second. sure the soda ash isn't damaged i can't be sure no i cannot be sure that the soda ash is is undamaged i'd love to do another thrifting video i i think that's a good i should lean on that for that format more because it's kind of a smorgasbord i can talk about a movie i can talk about a game just whatever i encounter i did film one a couple months ago and it I just didn't... The footage was bad. Uh, but I do want to film another one. I filmed this mall video, and I really like how the footage came out. So I think I have my out-and-about camera set up down now. So I shouldn't waste any other filming sessions, hopefully. I love LGR's thrifting videos. We gotta, I gotta go over to where he's at and then we both thrift at the same time. That's the collab I wanna do. Am I at... I'm not at Denton, am I? This looks a lot like the, the town square in Denton. It wasn't a roundabout though. Like, this building looks a lot like it. Where am I? Yeah, I'm not there. LGR is relaxing to watch. Definitely, definitely the channel, one of the channels, uh, that really inspired me to kind of mellow out some, I, I, I got, not everything is mellow, but it's nice to not be frantic sometimes and just play some jazz. And that's a lesson that you can learn from LGR. What is happening here? What am I... is going to be a problem. Oh, they'll just stop. They'll just stop for me in the middle of the road. Why not? I don't know if I'm going to explore Texas or not. I'm honestly, uh, I'm honestly kind of sleepy. I feel like I need to get up and do like a jumping jack or something. How's it going, Doc? I have not played SnowRunner. Uh, what is it? Tell me about it. I don't know anything about SnowRunner. Assuming there's snow. 
Do I need two naps? I just might. Off-roading truck game. Very relaxing at most times. Interesting. Would I would I like it? <laughs> uh, it's not too involved, right? It's is it mostly just driving? What what is going on when it's not relaxing? Are you like out running avalanches or something? I made it to Abilene. Driving and making deliveries. So that does, does sound good. You don't... Do you... Is it like, th like this kind of trucking? Like freight trucking or whatever? Like towing a trailer? It's not relaxing when you realize that you veered off the road. Well, I do that in this game... Anyway, so, you know, staying on the road is optional. Big gameplay mechanic is getting stuck in snow and mud. For how long? How, how do you get unstuck? Okay, here, we're here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch some gameplay. I might be too careless to play Snowrunner. I might drive dangerously and then really regret my if, if I drive dangerously here, worst case scenario, I just push a button and go get my truck fixed. Finally here. I've made it. Only two hours later than expected. But, uh, you know, I got here. I will try to park this one. Ever crashed IRL? I have not crashed. Uh, the only accident that I have been in, uh, someone rear-ended the car behind me, who then rear-ended me. So I was pretty, pretty removed from the action. Oh, shit. This is gonna be hard. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Okay. It would be cool to own a warehouse. What would you store at your warehouse? Wares? Okay, here we go. Beans! It would just be a cool hangout. So you wouldn't use it as a warehouse, you would just hang out at the warehouse. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Impromptu raves. Honestly, having a warehouse would be cool. I would, I would, if I had a warehouse, I would use it as like a filming set. I would soundproof it. 
you know, all that good stuff. Doesn't like it, but I'm right there. Got the sound of my engine just grinding. Come on, baby. Yeah! Late? Well, it's probably because I took so many naps. Oh, I did not get as much money as I wish I had gotten for that. <laughs> okay, let's go fix... I need to start getting hazardous cargo. Okay, let's repair. Cause I'm not gonna wanna do this next time I play. What up, Zaylin? I I stealth stream. I don't like to make a big deal about it, you know. <laughs> I could actually I could advertise my stream more on my YouTube videos, but I do actually, you know, I don't don't want too many new viewers all at once, you know. I like the gradual climb I can make the truck a different color I think I have to take it into a shop somewhere uh, which is what I'm looking for right now uh, let me look on the map oh yeah I need to go over here we'll go to Kenworth I'm not into the purple. Um, it's fine, but I, I would definitely like to, if, if I could do anything, I would like a, a black truck with flames. I think that would uh, be pretty badass. How's it going, doors? Your leg basically exploded last weekend playing hockey and now it's 50% metal? Holy shit. I hope your metal leg is okay. Oh, fuck. I wish I could take you to Donut Planet uh, to, you know, to ease your troubles. Eat some uh, donut holes. We're going through. I'm going through the drive through at Donut Planet. What do you guys want? I don't think I fit. They only sell burgers at Donut Planet. Dude, well, best of luck on your recovery, man. No food. They only got burgers here. I don't I don't want burgers at Donut Planet. Looks like a Taco Bell. Doesn't this look like a Taco Bell? This is definitely a Taco Bell. Okay. Bum, ba -na -na. Ba -na -na. Bum, ba -na -na. Banana. 
MJ. Can you say hello? She's just going back to sleep. She can enjoy some screen time while we're uh, headed to, what's it, the repair place? MJ's like three, I think. I don't know exactly. Three, I think? She's around three. I don't know how old anybody is. Christmas toy, uh, cat special, cat toy. Spe I have been thinking of doing another uh, MJ video. It's been a while, and I think it would be kind of fun to put together. Ian is either 31 or 32. I, I think I'm 31. But who can never be sure? Yeah, she'd have to do cat toy reviews. She, she wouldn't be able to do, like, a snack review because she's not supposed to have uh, too many treats. Okay, I, I only lost 11, so, like, almost half of the money that I made, basically. Great. Dude, happy birthday, Bear Bo. Or happy pre-birthday. Yes, Ian is actually... He, I'm 22. Can you believe it? Oh! What a drive! Well, I think I'm going to wrap up. I went for... Four... Four and a quarter hours... A little bit long. I was trying to be like, this could be like a, you know, maybe everyone, I can do more frequent small streams. But w once I get trucking, man, you know, I got, I got places to go. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, all the lurkers. I hope you uh, were productive. And thanks to my lovely chatters for keeping me company and awake so I could focus on the road, which is your job as a passenger. MJ says goodnight. Mmm, what a hamburger. Cupcakes.rar Thank you for the five months. Thanks for the stream. Relaxing background noise. Not a problem. Not a problem. I will uh, I will be back for another stream. Probably more streams before uh, this, this video comes out next weekend. Um... So yeah, if you have any uh, stream requests, let me know on uh, Twitter or something. Um, I'll probably try and do more chill stuff like this and maybe some chillscape. Oh. Good night, guys. Later days. Have a good one.